girls we are right in it and before we start before we introduce a guest i just want to apologize friday there was a bit of a fiasco here at the house saturday wasn't it no, it was well friday. it was friday into saturday it was friday and saturday uh i'm sorry about the ginger thing <laughs> thank my you my lapse of memory and her adventurous spirit yeah Aww. we yeah. love a free spirit yeah she, I think there's like a step challenge she got a hold of. <laughs> she, yeah, she went everywhere. Yeah. Sure. Now, how did you find her? Because I haven't even gotten the story yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was on the way back over from Biloxi. Um, yeah, yeah, that wasn't good either. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Um, being two hours away. But no, um, Christine actually posted on Facebook in like Lost Pets and was like, hey, yeah, yeah. Ginger's out or whatever. And, uh, I got a comment on the post and some lady was like, Hey, I think I just saw her. And I was like, Holy shit, message me. And so we started messaging back and forth and she was like, yeah, just, she just went down this dead end road that we're going to go down there and check it out. And so they had found her down. She's like, she was like a couple blocks over and like back in the neighborhood. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So I like ran over there and, uh, it was her. She was in like this neighbor's yard, like in this side yard. Yeah. It was like probably one thirty something like yeah, that. Yeah. That blew my mind because yeah. I, the house was basically shut down. I had probably quit like an hour right before you did. Yeah. And you and Jackie went right back out and then I could hear you in the house and I was like, okay, we're done for the night. And then I was like, I'll just try to get some rest cause open mat was the next day. I wake up cause I just can't sleep. And I literally had a dream. We found her. Mm hmm. So when I woke up, I went to the back door, opened the door, and I was like, okay, not there. That's fine. Maybe the front door. I checked the front door. She wasn't there. Right. Right. Yeah, she wasn't. And then, I, you know, human nature, normally you check your phone immediately. I did not check my phone. Until you woke up. Because I was like, it's kind of like you don't want to face the truth yet, and maybe yeah. you'll find the truth, and then you could be the hero. Mm-hmm. And the truth was on my phone. And, right. I, and it was like an hour after we had settled in the house. And I was yeah. like... I should have just fucking checked my phone. Yeah. Yeah. I felt yeah. so bad. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I told everybody at Open Mat. And when I told Derek, he goes, I saw the dog went missing. And I was like, yeah, that was my fault. He goes, damn, Cody. <laughs> I was like, I wrote it on the thing. It was my fault. Like. Uh, yeah. So who's like, Christine's just a friend in the area yeah. that just happened to be like watching well, out for so, her. No. So I was in Biloxi with my dad mm-hmm. and he called me and was like, hey. When Ginger gets out, where does she normally go? That and is such like, a funny... I was like, what? Uh, and he was like, when she gets out, what yard does she go to? And I was yeah, like, is yeah. this you telling me that Ginger got out? And he's like, maybe. <laughs> and so I texted my girlfriend, uh, Jackie, and was like, yo, like this is what's going on. And she was like, Christine and I are... They were at dinner at the time, but she was like, we're going to run over there and help look. And Christine works at a... She works at like a veterinary hospital. Okay. So she oh, like damn, knows know about all the like she's in all the you know all the Facebook groups and everything mm-hmm. like that. So whenever they came over here, I guess um, she just made a post whenever she mm-hmm. was on the way over here or whatever. And yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it was fucking wild. That's for damn sure. I'm while. assuming Ginger doesn't have like a chip. No. no. Okay. No. My um, it's funny. My my dog, she has a chip. Like she's had it since I got her at eight weeks old but yeah now that we're talking about this i am remembering again that i still haven't like registered yeah. her chip yeah so i oh, should probably fucking do that no, so she does it no she gets lost dude she's how often lost. we do stuff like that like i th- doesn't Jenner have a caller with her how often you no listen what i'm saying you'll <laughs> you'll agree here in a second like the caller has a tag with her information on it right not that one though no. oh okay not well new one no Owners do that a lot. I have a thing for yeah. Cali. I have two callers, multiple little name tags that are like n- n- number, yeah. name, all that shit. Yeah. But I do not require her to wear it. Yeah, no. Mm. Well, I mean, she's right. an inside dog. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not yeah. going to keep her with a collar on all the time. Like, yeah. I keep, you know. Yeah. I'm the um, same with my dog. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, but, when she runs outside real quick, it's not like I'm going to, you know, yeah. put her collar on every time. But, um. Yeah, but my apologies. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate That's my fault, brother. That. Yeah. Well. But yeah, she's back. Everything's fine. She made it. She's Yay. chilling. Yeah, and yeah. she's just she's so old. She That's probably has she's just no old, idea. So she doesn't know what. So like you know, 
when I found her, like when I got up to her, it was dark as shit. She couldn't mm-hmm. see who I was. So I was like, Ginger, you know, and she was like, what the fuck? You know, like trying to figure out what was going Who's on. Who's the shadow guy? And I was like, I was like, you're making me look bad in front of these people who don't know what's actually <laughs> mine, you know, but, um, but yeah, so I think honestly, she probably was just having the time of her life, yeah. honestly, but just, just yeah. Roman doing just her chilling. damn thing. Yeah. Is but, she yeah. here right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we hope, her. yeah. Yeah, she, <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> she could be anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I, I'm keeping up with her. <laughs> My bad, brother. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also, on a, it, since we're doing housekeeping, we have, I don't know if this is the right time to address it, but we have people trying to bully their way onto the podcast. Oh, shit. And that is just got to stop. <laughs> hmm. Maybe like an episode... Like a reoccurring guest that just doesn't know how to just like let it lie. Do you are you dropping the name or are you just? No, I it's know, okay. I'm... Like they'll just figure oh, okay. out who it is. You're gonna what? know. Oh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> but like, <laughs> fucking T. What? Just can I j- give you like some initials maybe, and you just let me know. No. Okay. I'll just flash the thing. Yeah. To you. Okay. I won't look. No, I mean it don't matter oh, if you oh, look oh. or not. Oh. oh. Okay, I um, know what you're talking yeah. about. Uh, no, I, I thought care. you were. But like, about it. just just for the listeners, like if if you want to be a guest on the podcast, bullying ain't the way. Yeah. You know, like to try to fight your way on or like be kind of an ass about things. That's not it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's crazy. But I'm just just saying, like, we have people on here to like put a highlight on them or have a good time. So like. If you're already not having a good time trying to talk about being on the podcast, like, then that ain't it. Reciprocate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. That's odd. Um, Let's do some introductions. Yeah. Since we skipped wanna, that part. You want to introduce yourself? My bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm Audrey. Um, and, yeah, I'm just, I'm Audrey. Uh, I guess I know, sort of know you guys through, um, the team I train at um, 10th Plane in Atlanta. Uh, current, I I don't know where to look. Like I don't know if I should oh, look at the camera. That happens y'all. a lot. Um, you can just look at us. <laughs> yeah, uh, but so, unless you want to say a message to the camera, unless you're getting real deep into them. Yeah, you want to know. Let me flip that <laughs> around. Yeah, that looks odd. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Well, you can go. That's real nice. Anyway, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, so uh, kind of know you guys like through the team um i train at 10th planet atlanta but um currently taking been taking like a little bit of a break um since about april i did go to the team training here in um pensacola um and planning to get back to training in july but yeah i'm just just audrey just a regular girl i guess you have i don't a know s- i don't have a um not like uh you guys have had a lot of like artists and stuff on recently mm-hmm. which has been yeah. really cool um so i don't have like a special talent necessarily but uh just here to have a good time so yeah. Yeah. word well i mean you we don't all have to be artists yeah. i mean look at us yeah, yeah we're not <laughs> we're dog hunters you know what i'm saying dog hunters. <laughs> golfers <Yeah>. <laughs> chefs <laughs> i'm really just describing you I'm like, I'll say, I shirt connoisseur. Yeah, I like t-shirts. Yeah, big t-shirt guy. Hell yeah. Yeah, too many. Yeah, for sure. Uh, There's a lot over there right now. (laughs) Are you interested? (laughs) We're getting rid of some shirts. I'll take a look. (laughs) Uh, No, uh, you are a blue belt under Sean Applegate. Mm -hmm. Uh, So you're taking a break, but you have a super fight this weekend. Yeah. So yeah. What, so, what's up, so what's up with that? Go from there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So All right. Let's talk. So that's like me with the tattoos. Wow. You don't want to get no more tattoos? Nah. Did you just get your whole back done? <laughs> he gets his yeah. back done. Maybe a little bit. That's so true. Oh my god. Okay. So yeah. So I um. Uh, I guess I'll start. Um. Guess I'll start from the beginning with like training. So. I started training like end of uh, 2021, December of 2021, and I was like super consistent for um, a little, little over two years. So, and like literally the first three or four months that I was training, 
Um, I would go like twice a day, morning and night. Um, and then just here in the last, uh, I don't know, I guess since like December of last year, um, I, I just started training less, just, um, got a little burnt out and just like was going through like some stuff mentally. So, um, so yeah, so I've been taking, and then I decided in April to take like a full break. So like froze my membership. Um, but again, I did go to team training on April 27th. So I trained there and then I've cross trained like a couple of times. Um, actually shout out to, uh, shout out to my friend Anna, because before, I went out of town. I got some hard rounds in with her at, um, uh, oh my God, I'm blinking on what the, oh, tier, tier one jujitsu. I think that's what it's called. It's in Ackworth, Georgia, but it's a newer gym, but got some hard rounds in with her. So let's see, I trained on April 27th, um, cross trained, at another place a few weeks later in Athens with my friend Rose and then trained at tier one. And then I'm going to be training like all this week leading. I'm actually staying in Pensacola this week. So Mm. I'm going to be training all this week leading up to the competition. So, um, when I compete on Saturday, I will have trained about, I don't know, like seven ish times in the last yeah. like three months. Word. A little behind um, the curtain for the opponent. You know, sub if you're listening, opponent. <laughs> what? So, what made you yeah. take the super fight? Like, what was it that, like. So, I've just been getting, like, I've just been getting the itch to compete yeah. again. And, um, not, not necessarily for like any, um, any like super serious reason if that makes yeah. sense i just kind of want to do it for fun and just see like uh just see where i'm at after taking a break for a while yeah. um it's also like 20 so i live uh in the atlanta area mm-hmm. but i've been staying with my family in long beach mississippi for the past like two weeks long beach, so mississippi. Yeah, Damn. right, right. You really threw me off there for a second. I was like, Long Beach, oh, Mississippi. Yeah, yeah. Where, so, like. The f- where the fuck is that? Um, Actually, it's like 20 minutes from Biloxi. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. So, um, so that was another reason. Like, my, uh, no one in my family has ever seen me compete before. Mm. Um, so, my dad is going to come to the competition, too. So, that'll be cool. Honestly, like, it's just, just for fun. I just yeah. got the itch. And, mm-hmm. you know, like, I'm just. I'm a hobbyist. Like I don't have to, I can compete. I don't have to be, um, serious about it or like I am serious in a sense, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do my best, yeah. Yeah. but but you're not, I don't have, why, why are, what am I trying, what am I trying to say? Um, The juice is I worth the squeeze. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Throwing out fun words, but you're not worried I, about putting like forty hours a week into it, like going super serious. No, into it because anymore. like Just, I'm not. Um, I think for a while I like I've always known I don't want to make it my career. Yeah. But then at the same time, like. I think a lot of it came from, like, the fact that I train at 10th Planet Atlanta, right? Like, everyone or most people there, even the ones that probably technically consider themselves hobbyists, take it, like, very, very seriously, which is awesome. But you don't have to be – I think I was, like, trying to – Uh, trying to kind of assimilate too much to the vibe of the team instead of like, um, instead of having my own journey with it, if that makes yeah. sense. Well, I, I I can imagine that being in that room with 
that many people that are at the highest level of competition, Mm -hmm. like at all times, you know, there's always somebody that's gearing up for some fight or that's like, you know, Mm -hmm. I mean, like Ryan, you know what I mean? Who's constantly kind of in that and it makes you want to do that in a way. Like Mm -hmm. it feels like you're kind of lumped into that. You know what I mean? Right. So I can understand where you're like, you were doing that for a while and then realize like, oh, hey, this is not like yeah. a career yeah, that I'm yeah. trying to do. And like I wanted to keep coming because I wanted to keep going because I mean the the vibe of the room, it's it's awesome and like mm-hmm. everyone, you know, everyone's just goofy. Like it's a good it's funny because um you know, jujitsu is like everyone takes jujitsu so seriously in there, but like that's about the only thing that we take seriously, yeah, that, yeah. if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, like other sure. than that, it's just like a, it's just a goofy hangout fest. So yeah. I, I love it. That but, is really like what it is like for people who don't do it. They think the room is so serious. Yeah. Right. Like the first time you ever right. walk up to a gym, you're like, dude, this is like so nerve wracking. Yeah. But then you get there and maybe you do a class and you're like, oh, maybe shit. two, you sit in watch or something, and you're like, oh, it's just a bunch of silly geese in here. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I miss everyone. I'm, uh, I'm excited to, I don't think I'll ever go back to like training as much as I was, like, you know, six, six times a week or whatever. But, um, I'm excited. I am excited to go back and, you know, at least train like a couple times a week and see yeah. everyone. Um, yeah. I really miss everyone, and uh, we also, like, we have an awesome group of women, too, which is, you know, kind of, I won't say hard to, well, I guess it, it I guess it kind of is, like, hard to find in yeah. jiu-jitsu. I feel like it's definitely least, more rare. Yeah. yeah it's for sure. But it's not as common, Like, we have one like, girl. Yeah. And she's new. Yeah. That's, hmm. that's crazy. Yeah. It like, was. we have some people that, like, filter in, like, Nina and stuff, yeah. like, mm-hmm. occasionally, or, like, cross-train, like, Darby and stuff, but that's that's part of our team, but not, like, our home base at right. Kazushi Club Pensacola, but yeah. shout out. Uh, <laughs> and speaking of the competition this weekend, we have, like, so many people. Josh, Dustin, Casey, Chandler from Gulf Shores, Cam, old wrinkly ball head ass. <laughs> Uh, you pacifier head ass. Yeah, uh, that was a crazy picture. He Ooh. dropped a picture of him holding his, ba- or I guess not even holding his baby. He had like the baby carriage on the front of him, you know, and like, the baby yeah, just sitting there yeah. on the front, like yeah, that's dude. awesome. Look like Vin Congrats Diesel. To them. So good. You got oh. you from Atlanta. What is I don't know how to pronounce his name. Olo Don. <laughs> um, you can just call him Densu. Olo Don. But, See, that's what I thought. Because yeah. I know his thing on Instagram. But some people don't do their Instagram name as yeah. their name or whatever. I do always Almost wonder, <laughs> um, which I guess I could just fucking ask him. Like, Dinsu's cool as hell. But I do always wonder, like, why he registers himself as, like, Oladon. Because he always, he at least to my knowledge, like, yeah. always yeah. goes by Dinsu to everyone. Hmm. But and then Dinsu, if you're listening let us know and then like a fellow <laughs> brother of ours i've known him for some years james harrell he trains out of i think it's 10th or uh top team diaberville how do you say that diaberville oh my gosh I've i was pretty just, much nailed that that was close yeah i was just talking about this with my um stepmom literally yesterday i said diaberville and she was like diaberville i was like yeah and she was like Diaberville. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> wow. My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> like an apostrophe in there. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on now. Imagine hearing somebody from there, like born and raised from there, say that name. Diaberville? Diaberville. Diaberville. Diaber- just like, what? I don't even think they throw the D on it. No, they're just Iberville. Speaking <laughs> of D can silent. Y'all, can y'all imitate a Cajun accent? No. Okay. I worked in Thibodeau, Louisiana for a year and. I just Where? pointed at things. <laughs> oh, okay. I just pointed at places. I need. I was like, pull up a picture of Walmart. Like, I don't know where that is. Yeah. No, it's Point. Tough where do I got to go? Tough it's scene, so man. thick. It's the, I mean, it really is its own language. It is. Sure. It's, it, it's so fascinating. The accents I, and the, uh, yeah, it's insane. The dude from Waterboy, the, I, is, he's not the coach. The assistant coach or whatever. Yes. Yeah. 
That's so spot on. I'm, con- <laughs> yeah, just, I'm convinced. Like that is you like one, to see homo naked. <laughs> that is one accent that, unless you're just like insane at accents, like you cannot imitate that. Like well, you it's, just it's have also, to be Cajun. It's like, like very specific too. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Southern Louisiana versus yeah. Northern Louisiana, and like there's deep South accents here where there's like kind of that Cajun accent. Different too. parishes and shit yeah, have different. Like there's there's so which much is wild little. that it can be so close and we've talked about this before like how does language or like accents <laughs> even change yeah like how can i be 30 miles from here and it's it sounds kind of so different completely different yeah that's yeah. insane i mean alabama's right there we're really not even 30 miles from alabama and mm-hmm. you can jump right over there and it's just like What's going on? Why? Sounds like a yard sale, statewide yard sale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I don't even know. Are we bidding on this? Yeah. Like, what's going on? This is basically yeah. Alabama. It is. It no, is. we are. <laughs> we're, we're like Pensacola beach. Beach is not, but yeah, Pensacola Cantonment. We're yeah. like Definitely. Beach Bama. That's what this. Oh, is. Oh, so that's yeah. how you say that Cantonment. Cantonment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when I saw it on the Cantonment. 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 Encampment. Oh, shit. Yeah, Cantonment. Yeah. yeah, we just call it the can. If you're from here, you call okay, it the can. Okay, the can. Yep. Never heard of say it that way. Can. Really? Never. Oh, dude. <laughs> I just yeah. say, like, normally when I, when I refer to it, if it ain't cantonment, I talk about, you know, if where Tate ain't. is? Yeah. That's all I say. Yeah. You know, Tate. Yeah, can, That's out there by Tate. Tyson. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's a, yeah. It's an interesting spot. What What is your goal in jujitsu now that you've kind of got. You got a blue belt. You got your taste. Mm-hmm. Foot in the door. You mm-hmm. get like I think by the time you get a blue belt, you get the idea of what jujitsu is like and what the journey can be like for you moving forward. What is your like ultimate goal with it, or do you not have? You're just like I'm just gonna do it while it's fun for me. So, so I feel like I feel like one like it depends on your definition of like a goal because I know like some people say like a goal has to be, um, like, measurable, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. Like, a, an exact, like, you need, like, a time frame and um, a tangible thing or whatever. But I think for me, like, my focus is to just keep getting better and to be able to do it forever. Mm. So even if that even if that means like you know taking breaks sometimes like i i can do i can still do different things sometimes and have other focuses and um but i just i want to be able to do it for forever so that is like part of the reason why i don't want to be training every fucking day for the rest of my life it's not at least at least for me that's not sustainable because i also like i want to be I want to be mobile for as long as I live. Like, I don't... Yeah. I mean, just... That's a tough oh, thing to do in this Yeah, part. I mean, almost two and a half years in, like, in the grand scheme of things, like, I'm fine. Other people are definitely way more uh, injured than I am. <laughs> but my ne- my neck... <laughs> is not the same y'all like yeah. it is it's not the same even just like two and a half years in so um so i just want to i'm just gonna try to keep getting better but i don't have any like very specific goals mm, yeah. um at least not right now I, that's not to say that like some you know there won't be uh periods of my life where i might um set like a very specific measurable goal um of like say i don't know doing like the expert division at like a local amateur tournament or something like yeah. that but something a little right more my yeah, yeah yeah but i guess my ultimate goal is to just be able to do it for forever yeah so and That's just at it. my own pace and just keep enjoying it too. Yeah. It's a um, tough sport to do it forever. Yeah, yeah. maybe <laughs> people, most people think about like tennis or pickleball or golf. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you get too fucking. I want to do this shit yeah. till I'm eighty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, think I'll wild. I'll I'll figure out a way to do oh, it. I I can you know I can. Yeah. 
we can adjust. We can yeah. make. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Pulls guard every time. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so you've been doing it for two and a half years. What made you even go in the first place? So, okay. I, um, it was honestly something like super random that I tried. Um, my friend Lyndon, shout out to Lyndon. She probably is not going to listen to this, but Damn. that's okay. Ouch. But, uh, Maybe no, not, not in like a bad way. No, Just like, to, I, I don't, I don't know. She but, hates uh, men. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not like that. No, I just, um, anyways, um, <laughs> no, there's nothing, yeah, we'll there's nothing it. bad. There's nothing bad. I just don't. <laughs> I just don't know if she would listen. Yeah. But um, anyway, so my friend Lyndon, she was training somewhere else. And um, somewhere else, you know, in the Atlanta area. And I tried a class at the gym that she was training at. And, um, and I just really enjoyed it. But at the time um, where she was training, it was about, um, it was like, hour from where I was living and that was without traffic and I mean Damn, everyone knows tough. like if you live in the Atlanta area like traffic's crazy so with traffic you know and rush hour or something it could be like at least an hour and a half yeah so I tried a cl- class really enjoyed it um and then and I was gonna start training there but So I remember I tried the class and it was like right before, um, right before this particular gym was going on like a week long break for Thanksgiving. So, uh, I was planning on signing up at that gym after the break was over, but, um, during that break, I was chatting with another friend, um, Frank, and he was training at 10th Plain in Atlanta, mm-hmm. which happened to be only like 30 minutes from where I was living at the time. And um, he was like, you should come try a class. I was like, okay, like, hell yeah, like, why not? So tried a class there and um, loved it even more than the other gym that I had trained at. And obviously it worked out because it was only 30 minutes from where I was living and 30 minutes from my office. So like my office was here, the gym was here, and then where I was living was here. So it was right in the middle of everything, like perfect location. And um, again, I just, I enjoyed the training there more and the vibe just, like I said, it's just a very um, goofy, um, at least when it comes to, things that aren't jujitsu it's just a very like goofy fun chill atmosphere um i feel like that's our team in general like all of us all of us are pretty mellow people yeah yes absolutely it's a nice nice vibe yeah Yeah. so it was long story short it was just something random that i tried that i really took to and um i was in a super like um transitionary phase in my life and um it really it helped me work through a lot of things and gain um a lot of confidence that I was missing and just uh just it gave me a sense of like if I can do, if I can do this, if I can, you know, fight people, um, I, having never done something like that, um, also started when I was 24, almost 25. And before that, like, I hadn't ever really done a sport or anything super consistently. I wasn't like what you would, uh, Besides, like, weightlifting, I, I had been weightlifting for years before that, but... I think we noticed. <laughs> Jacked. <Yeah. laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, I'm trying to get like that. <laughs> but, so it just I'll wear tops a... like that when I get like that, too. <laughs> well, no. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't you'll tell know. you, but you'll know. <laughs> there I will might, be changes. And we'll trade shirts is what's going to happen. I'm going to give you my <laughs> oversized shirts. Top. Yeah, just... Like this, <laughs> like what's up with Cody? And like, hey, don't dude. don't say anything. Don't bring it up. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. You're good. You're good. Um, yeah, so it just, it gave me a sense of like, well, I can get through, I can, uh, I can get through this really hard thing that I just got through. I can fight people. I can become an athlete at 24, yeah. almost 25. Like, even if I'm not the best in the world, like, I can, you know, it just gave me a sense of that and something to focus on. So, yeah. yeah. What awesome. What has it been like? And I, I don't know if we've had another girl jiu-jitsu person on. We've had Darby on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Darby. I'm trying to think if I Cat's remember girl? Yeah, I don't know if we I had... hate to say it like that. She's her own person. Yeah, it's Darby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, there uh, you go. Well, you <laughs> can't follow her on Instagram because she's <laughs> off that, so it's hard to say. Like, I can't be like, go follow this thing. I thought we had somebody else. I don't know. Y'all had... Didn't you... Didn't y'all have a... Um, I can't remember. Ugh, I feel bad because I can't remember her name. I guess what? But I remember last. The, she was a UFC fighter. Oh, right? Gillian Roberts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guess so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if I've asked. Yeah. Maybe I did ask Darby. It, that Speaking of, if so y'all need ago, ideas yeah. of women jujiteras to have on, I got. <laughs> I know some. Word. We have yeah. some awesome ones. Well, yeah. my question was, how do you feel like? And I, this is such a weird question to ask people because it's hard to say because you only know yourself and you only know what it's like from your thing, but. Has it been difficult being a girl and starting jujitsu? I say that, but it's like, dude, I'm a dude and it's been difficult. Um, but not like for like, I feel like the same type of reasons. Yeah. Um, are you, are you asking just because like, there's not a lot of like women? Yeah, that like, so. like some of the people we know, like Rich and Serena. It's hard for Serena to find matches sometimes because there's not really yeah, a lot of people. Not, yeah. Also, yeah. it's hard in the room because it's like you're not training with a bunch of girls because then you're competing against the girl you're training with because there's just not a ton. So yeah, it makes it difficult um, to like make a name unless you're traveling or yeah. – I mean that's the benefit of this one I guess. Yeah. So in in some aspects, yes. Um you also started no. with a bunch of black belts, right? Yeah. Where all the girls so, were like higher level. Yeah, exactly. So like the first, I don't know, probably like six months to a, a year that I was there, it was pretty much just me, Tori, um, who's a black belt, Joani, who's a black belt, and Anna, who's a brown belt. So it was Yikes. little white <laughs> white belt Audrey. <laughs> well, I say little. I guess I'm not little, but uh, <laughs> white <laughs> white belt Audrey with these freaking like savages. Um, they're all amazing. Yeah, um, gnarly, that's dude. crazy. I yeah, mean, I'm sure they were like super cool about. Like they weren't like just oh, absolutely yeah, ripping you they, up or nothing. They but were they were still. cool. They still like I think. And maybe they were, maybe they did go easier than I felt like they did on me. But um, I do, I do feel like they definitely challenged me. Like they definitely, yeah. Um, yeah. and I did like, I definitely wouldn't call myself again. Like I wouldn't call myself an athlete before I started, but I did at least come into it with like strength. Um, I, I had been lifting for years before that. So that might have probably that might have played a role in like why mm -hmm. maybe they um like i don't want to say put me through the ringer but at least it felt like it felt they like did it. sometimes yeah. I mean, shit. but that's yeah. okay i uh i'm honestly like super thankful for that it definitely um helps me get better quicker but so anyways the, the first like 6 months to a year it was pretty much just us out of the girls at least the ones that trained consistently i think about six to eight months after i started training is when like we got a couple of um new white belts like adela and Gigi. um but they weren't they weren't like super consistent either until about the year mark so like i would yeah i was like put through 
I was a uh, I didn't have as many women to train with at first and I don't want to say like it was hard because I I had all these like awesome like men to train with like they you know the the guys on our team like they're they're um some of the they, best in the world. Yeah, yeah. But they would still, you know, they were still respectful and would, like, let mm. me work and, and help me. Um, so I guess in some, I will say, like, going back to what you were saying about it hard, about it being hard to find matches, mm. um, I think that was, like, one reason, uh, which I think I got a little uh, – you know, burnt out for like a multitude of reasons. But I really do think that was like one reason why I got so burnt out because I got to a point I was like trying to compete at least like once a month. And, um, and it was, it was like hard to find matches. So on top of it being obviously very like physically demanding and um mentally demanding obviously because you have to focus on technique and it's very much like a brain thing you know there was also the mental load of like looking not only looking for competitions but like looking at a competition and saying okay there's 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 only one girl in my division and i've fought her before um or i know she trains here so i know that's like might not be like a challenge at all uh so is it even worth me paying a hundred dollars to compete or even like i mean there were there were times like i would post on my instagram like hey like atl like bjj girls you know anyone want to do this competition or um i would post in like this women's um that's such a different world hey anybody want to compete with me yeah like dudes it's just like we're running the sport more or less yeah yeah it's just like you can throw a rock and get in a fight with a guy easy you ain't yeah, even gotta yeah, ask yeah. you're just like yeah hey bro <laughs> yeah you say yeah you say but something like, wrong dude. but girls it's like uh, such a sweet uh, <laughs> hey girls hey, hey y'all want to fight <laughs> yeah. anybody trying to fight <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah when you I was it trying. On story, yeah, hey, yeah, just I was asking real nicely. I guess I was like, and maybe <laughs> that's why. Uh, <laughs> maybe I was like too. Maybe my energy was like too desperate. So it was like a, it was like a sign I from the it, universe yeah. that was like Audrey. Oh, chill I think it also out. is like know. super intimidating you coming from that gym. Maybe yeah. so. Girls are probably like, I think so oh, we right. already know who's in that gym. That's maybe. gonna be yeah. fuck. But at the same time, it oh gosh, it was it was like. Shit, hit up Craig Jones. <laughs> He'll fight you. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying. Really? I think that's so cool. The, that, the Gabby. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. That, I think that's awesome. I just yeah. wonder I, how – Are is he going to take the match itself when it goes? Are you going to take it serious or are you going to fuck around? I think he's got to take it serious. Do you? He's I don't know. I've, I've thought about so. it because I'm like, he could really hurt her. I like, I know the size I think she difference. she could really hurt him. Yeah. Yes, but if he gets underneath yeah, her, yeah, she. Ooh, wait, what? If he gets wait. underneath her, if he scoops a leg or something, oh, 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 oh. it's a quick night. Question. Yeah, yeah. So is he is... gonna try to make it super fast? It's it's a strictly like B. It's a strictly BJJ match, or mm-hmm. is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, okay. I heard. If he loses, they're dropping a sex tape. Oh, God. I'm just saying that's what he said. Is that what he said? That's what he said. He said they already filmed Damn. it. There's no way it's true, but he did say that. They did an arm wrestling. Did you see the arm wrestling match they did? (laughs) This was like two years ago, I think Pride. Not Pride. Oh, uh, that was... Okay, I didn't realize that video was from two years ago. It's super old. Okay. Where he's in like the bandana and the white tee and the short shorts. And they go like this, and he's like, "Okay, go." And then she just fucking slams, (laughs) and he doesn't do he doesn't do anything. He he gets slammed, and then he looks at the camera, and he's like. <laughs> and she's like, dude. Oh. So I See, wonder I if he's, he's gonna got, let her like fuck him up I real think bad. He's gotta take it serious. I think so. But I don't I know. Mean, 
Yeah. Mm. And then I what if she, what if he doesn't and she takes it crazy serious and, and hurts him? him up, yeah. Yeah, like dumps I his mean, ass on his head or something. I mean, it's a, at the end of the day, it's a match. So, I mean, yeah. you're, you're taking that risk I just regardless don't, I don't see on either the, side. Does she speak English? Yes. She does? I think yeah. she does. Okay. I just don't know the win in it. You know, like, what what is the win? What is the perfect outcome? What do you mean? Like, for the match. match. No, I get it. But, like, if he wins and destroys her, Mm -hmm. kind of weird. No, If she destroys him, I think it's kind of weird because people are going to be like, yeah, but we knew that would happen. People will say that. Yeah. But then if she destroys him, then it's like... Line the next person up because I want to see the next one, Gordon. <laughs> I don't. And wouldn't it be better if he lost because then he's second again? Yeah, yeah. Play into I think it. So and come out with like a ma- rash card that says "Gabby's bitch" or something. And if they're putting tape out, yeah, you know, like that. Honestly, they'll probably make more money off the tape than the CJ se- I will. Sex tape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Do you- CJ really I unrated. <laughs> CJ I X. Yeah. Oh yeah, I That's think they'll not make. Really <laughs> <laughs> I think they. You're selling it pretty off. hard. She's believing you. I'm just. I think they would totally make more money off that. Oh, dude, could you imagine? He, he would bought put that period out panties out of a vending machine in China and what? smelled them. He would. He would put that out on his instructional like. Oh link yes. for sure. Yeah, hey, I, I think he has an OnlyFans. <laughs> Craig, do- I probably. Does. I think he does, and he does yeah. his instructionals on it a little bit. Yeah, I think. I mm-hmm. think. But I think a little bit. I think. I don't know. I've never That's seen it. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Allegedly, I don't know. Yeah, but um, I definitely. Yeah. Tell me, you wouldn't try to pirate that? You like? I just want to <laughs> see what. How crazy is the tape? I do. I, fucking, I, I don't mean, know. honestly, like, like if that's a th- an actual thing, like I'm kind of curious. There's She's absolutely like, six foot six. Like, yeah, like, like, huge. She makes Bradley Martin look like a baby, like a little pea. Yeah, she's like <laughs> gigantic. Honestly, there's no way that's real, and there's no way I no think way it would ever like them happen. having a sex yeah. tape. Oh really? yeah, yeah. I no way. So. Oh, there's dude, no way. I totally think Craig would do it. No. Oh, dude. I think you. Unless it's like some like dominatrix baby boo boo. Are we talking about two different? (laughs) You know where she holds him like a baby and changes his diaper, maybe some shit like that. But it's not like a I'm having sex with you thing. She'd be picking him up and being like, "I'm fucking myself with you." Oh. I don't know, dude. I think. (laughs) Oh. I'm fucking myself. (laughs) (laughs) She would use him like a doll. Yeah, yeah. See, that's where I think it's going. (laughs) He gets tied up, and she and he'd have a bonnet with a little. Well, we don't have to go the baby route, but (laughs) I just uh, feel that energy from them. But I think that that I totally think it would happen. Yeah, like for sure. Yeah, I think Craig will go that far for the joke. Maybe we do a live. Well, a watch we'll like see a, what a live watch party. <laughs> a live reaction. What did we do? Didn't we do one with uh, your mom's house? Yeah, live. Yeah. That what did we what? call that? Uh, hold one? on. What? Your what is? Do you what know is? what your mom's house is? It's a podcast, podcast. with Tom Segura and oh, Christina no. Pazinski. Pazinski. But they mm-hmm. sometimes they do these lives where they'll record the podcast live in like a theater or whatever, and they mm-hmm. watch. The craziest videos you can possibly find yeah, it's super anywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, we watched one where a dude cut his dick off. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. People need to stop watching videos like this. They Well, there's a market. They, they <laughs> I watched, know. They, it's so they had bad. Like a, in they front had an of a audience. theater audience. They had, like, an audience, and they're pulling watch? this shit up. Well, we were watching the no, podcast no. live. Yeah. And, like, and we were recording it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. we but were like, oh, my God. Like We didn't understand watch. what it was. What, I mean, we'd heard oh because God. they're behind a paywall. We'd heard the first four, I think. I think it was the fifth one we watched. Yeah. And, and he was like, why don't we do like a little pizza party? And we watched it and it was just like, it was all right, way that's more the last aggressive. one we're doing. Yeah, we have. But it was way more aggressive than I ever yeah, could have. It's like, crazy. I knew they going to have, because they normally have some like fucked up clips where it's like people there was get hurt themselves or on like. The, Break like they like yeah. jump off a roof or something and like do which is I also they showed can... they showed death on it and then another one of the crazy ones was a dude put his own dick and balls in his own butthole. Wow, I don't <laughs> wait, that one. you don't remember that one? How? And he poops it out. I do not wait. remember that. One. <laughs> you don't want? I watched that. I do. He, uh, he liked him so much he was a guest on the podcast. You don't how? remember this? How do you <laughs> 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 dude, what? 
<laughs> I'm not making this up. How? How though? What the? Dude, fuck? brother was gifted, and he just <laughs> kept shoving it, and he does this as a thing. It's like part of his gig or dick. <laughs> yeah. His stick? God. Yeah, dude, that's yeah, it's I do crazy. not remember. Maybe that it was one. just his balls, but still, that's a long <laughs> ball sack. Oh man. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, so People don't crazy, suggest man. these videos, but like they're out there. Yeah. Oh, a dude I, was don't also worry. I, a dude not... started draining blood from his own dick and balls. Remember oh, that one? My he was God. sticking it a lot and it was like squirting blood. Oh, I do do you remember that one? That okay, one wait, almost fainted. The We're gonna have to delete ones that this you're episode. mentioning, like, God. have you watched them or do you just know that they exist? Well, we they, don't go after them. Yeah, we're not like googling these. Okay. Like, but when I they, just, when I'll give you an example, I'll show so you what the podcast looks like. people that I know so house many people clips. that watch shit like this and like death videos and oh, like so people. Dude. It's insane. I, I, I won't even. Do y'all, um, do y'all both like follow? I'm sure. Well, I'm sure I'll do. Y'all. Like y'all sh- follow Sean on Instagram. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't know if y'all remember, but I was probably in the last year or so, like, he posted a few videos of, like, people getting, like, their shit broken and, like, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will not even watch those. Yeah. I, like... Look, a lot of the time in life, things just come at you. Things happen to you. I have the this, issue of like when it's train wreck shit like that, where it's like I can't look away. This is you know what, what I mean. Happens. Where I'm like, if I, if something comes up, <sighs> yeah. where I'm like, okay, one. I know something bad is about to happen I here. Just, this is it. Is this? So like, the, this oh, is God. your mom's Wait, house. No, okay, no, this isn't just a bad the, one. They okay. don't have them out. You got to pay for those. But this is like <laughs> an example. <laughs> you got to pay for those <laughs> of what their podcast is like. So they'll watch fucked up videos, and not necessarily every clip is injuries or whatever. Even though that's what is gonna happen. Nothing. It's probably just this okay. guy doing it's really weird techniques. Oh, Watch, I'll okay. show you another one. So they'll do like s- street food in another country and just like, this dude's probably oh, going to okay. start so with his feet not- or something. Okay, but it's not all like... No, no, no. No, it's just like, cr- like it's crazy people or... Okay. They're just talking about the <laughs> oh. clips, but why did we even start talking about that? Why did we? That was it. Your mom's house live. Oh, Craig and them fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. Gonna, do it. that's gonna, gonna get it on there. Yeah. That'll be on your mom's house. I would. I'm oh, not gonna sure. lie. Like, I would watch that. Like, <laughs> just what out the of curiosity. Fuck? You're talking all this shit. But <laughs> like, then, yeah, just, yeah. Okay, but that's not like that's just people. Like, that's fucking. Like, that's okay. Well, see, the interesting <laughs> part is the size. <laughs> we don't know that. <laughs> it could be yeah. real fucked up. <laughs> okay, yeah. not if it's like. Okay, not some like weird. Shit. I, but I just would be curious, like, because I would. That yeah, would like, just what be would so that even look like between them? You ever see China sex tape? I'm more interested in the, the foreplay, honestly. <laughs> like, no. Do you know who oh, China God. the wrestler is from DX? <laughs> Dude. Oh. She had no. a sex tape before she passed away Mm-mm. with another wrestler, X Pac. The one, two, three kid. He's got a bunch of different names, but. No, I didn't see that. Yeah. One. Yeah, no, I. But I totally think that that would, they would drop it. That would literally Holy destroy shit. the internet. It would see, level dude, it. I'm telling you, it would totally make more money than. CGI. It would dummy anything Gordon's ever sold. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like he would easy. have enough money for the next CJI. Yeah. Yeah. He'd Probably. be able to buy Gordon. Yeah, He'd for like, sure. Name your price. Yeah. <laughs> also, Cody had a good uh, thought on the whole. Wow, that's like, wild. CGI. Never heard that. Well, but we were talking about, remember Cody how, good like, did you see any of the clips from when Craig was on the Joe Rogan podcast and he was talking about, he, like. No, I want to, I want to, like, listen to it's it good. and everything. I'm yeah, so Joe was, like, asking him, like. He kind of so came who's at him. The ba- like, so who's behind this? Like, who's putting all the money up and stuff? Yeah. And we were talking about, like, who the fuck it would be that's putting up, you know, two, three million dollars for something uh, like this. First, mm-hmm. what is, what she think? Ask her that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So who do you think? He's got behind it. Who's back all, all the money oh, behind it and shit. I have, I have no clue. I'm yeah. not even like, like I, I'm not deep into the BJJ world like that. I don't. I yeah, have no that's idea. Fair. I wouldn't yeah. even have. We overthink it a lot and we try to yeah. look into yeah. it. But his his thought was, it would be Mark Zuckerberg. Because, like, mm-hmm. just recently, Mark has shown up in, like... Oh, yeah. In the last that, two or three years, he started a doing sense. a lot of UFC events. Yeah. Started jujitsu himself. He's trained with Craig. He's trained with Alexander Volkanovsky. Like, Izzy, all, Izzy, all those dudes. 
and like that, he's really getting into it. Yeah, and it that was would like, make a lot of sense actually. And that's he like doesn't really logical. Like the person backing the money doesn't want to be known. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he doesn't really have anything in the UFC, and he doesn't have any ties in ADCC. So he wants to give back to the sport. What a better way! Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think and Craig's probably got a way up. to talk. You know, like talk to somebody in the. Hey, brother, what do you think about this? Yeah, I mean... I also I, got a sex tape if you're willing to buy it. I think <laughs> that is, like, a there's a pretty good chance yeah. that he's the one backing it. Absolutely. Or, like, him and Tom Hardy or whatever, the yeah. other... You know what I mean? Like, all the yeah. celebrities that are doing it, you know, that you've seen kind of pop up. What if recently? it's, like, some Shark yeah, Tank so shit with, like, Mark Cuban and Zuck and, like... Then Craig definitely hit the Have jackpot you... and that shit's taken the fuck over. Yeah. That's for sure. It's crazy. I feel like I hear of, like, another celebrity or random person that's, like, doing BJJ. Yeah, yeah. all the time. Yeah. Keanu Reeves, Ashton Kutcher, like... Kristen uh, Bell, I think. Kristen oh, really? Bell. Oh, mm-hmm. that's sick. Uh, oh, because I guess... Dem- Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato. Oh, yeah. Isn't she a blue um, belt? Jonah Hill. I think she's a purple belt. I purple think. belt? She is a purple belt, yeah. Word. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right? Uh, Anthony Bourdain, R.I.P., but he wasn't. He was a black belt. He was a men's masters champion. Yeah. He wasn't a black belt. He was a blue belt. Oh. He oh, just he found was... it right before. Oh. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, who else? Joey Diaz. <laughs> Joe Rogan. <laughs> I'm just going to get into MMA now. <laughs> Chuck Taco, Liddell. Chuck <laughs> 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 yeah, no shit. Yeah. Um,. No, but I think that I I honestly think that the probability of that is pretty fucking high, that, and it's just gonna stay kind of behind the scenes, you know, until I don't know, until it's big enough or whatnot. But yeah, and I yeah. really love the idea that they're doing like what they call the back alley, which is just the pit. Oh yeah, but from like the that. way he's describing it, it's not gonna be walls like this. They're gonna be a little flatter. Yeah, so people can see because it's in the Thomas <clears throat> Mac Arena. So. I mean, we were there. You saw it's flat ground to the bleacher. So you got to figure out how everyone sitting can see it. Well, I think that most likely in that style, the first like 10 rows or something would be blocked back. You know what I mean? That way you can actually see I think it's it. going to be low enough and it's going to be angled that even the person sitting in the front row. Yeah. Because all those tickets were sold. Oh, no, that's ADCC. Sorry. I was talking about when I was booking it. My bad. But yeah, the tickets maybe. tickets haven't even gone on sale yet. Where, That's true. Where is the... Las Vegas. Is, okay. ADCC also Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. I knew... Wow. What are y'all... Th- like... Yeah, I was I was wondering if that was close enough. Um, she was like, I'm just going to actually... Go. <laughs> she I don't like this. <laughs> um, what do y'all think specifically about him doing it like on the same day as ADCC? I'll let you go. You I, want to go? I'll go. Uh, go ahead. I think it's, I mean, obviously I'm just going to reiterate the point he's made because I think it's the best point, but he's putting the choice and the position in the hands of the athletes. Like yeah. you're creating leverage that wasn't there previously because there's mm-hmm. no contracts. There's no, there's no way like an athlete that wants to be world renowned can say, well, pay me. ADCC before could just say no. Yeah. And then what are you going to do? You're going to have to go to a lower level competition. Yeah. Because the prestige or the name, like when Ryan goes, if he becomes ADCC champion, there's nothing higher than that in the sport. If if they ban or like if he got invited, like say we never heard that he did and he said no and he went to CJI, he wins the first one. The the best thing about the CGI thing right now, I think, is the money. The money, but y- mm-hmm. you can also make history by becoming the first one ever. And if there never is another one after this, like say it doesn't do well, mm-hmm. you're the only one of all time. Yeah. And you can still do ADCC because ADCC ain't gonna go anywhere. Yeah. It's yeah. established. Like well, but we don't know though if there's gonna be repercussions for athletes. That- they've said it. Mo came out and he said, there's not going to be any repercussions, but if you got an invite, you're going to have to win it back. So if you've been invited, unless you're like a lifelong legend kind of thing, Mm -hmm. like Gordon probably never has to compete to get into it ever Mm -hmm. again. 
I think if you've won the absolute or anything like that, like if you become a champion for ADCC, mm-hmm. you never really have to have an invite again yeah. Yeah. or uh, compete for compete an invite. For but they said like it, the Tacky Brothers, they've never competed at ADCC, but they've won the trials. They were going to be in there. They didn't go. They went to CJI or they, mm-hmm. you know, it hasn't happened yet. But he said there's going to be no repercussions. They just have to win they, their spot yeah. back next year or which I, the I mean, I think that's that's I exactly think that's fair. fair. That's exactly I think that's fair I, for sure. Honestly, I just made this connection. It's like the PGA Tour and Live deal. That's exactly what this is like. Is Live CJI? Yeah. Word. Because, but live because is ADCC has been around for a long time. Yeah, PGA Tour has been around for a long time. The money for PGA Tour players is not the same as live. Live is wow. hundreds of millions of dollars. Good point. Compared to you know thirty million for a tournament. I'm just whatever. barely ahead of you. I barely know any golf. Yeah. But he's talking oh, about golf. Oh, I don't. I don't yeah, know anything. Yeah, I knew. I did deal. know that. I okay. did know that he was Maybe talking we're on about the golf. Same page. Though. That's it, though. That's yeah. <laughs> I mean, but that's how it is, though. It's the exact yeah. same way. And honestly. It very well could be backed by the same kind of people that are backing Live, dude. Everybody over there, yeah, they like something. Yeah, boxing. Yeah, boxing. I feel like if the I don't know if what the correct term is, the sheiks, the oddies, or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what just they're sheiks. Sheiks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I. It just sounds like demeaning for some reason to me because I'm like, you call you call them the. Hey, you, if you say that, that's not good. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Wait, no. that's a... Is that a slur? If you're not? It's, yeah, I think it's... But then oh, I can... But then I didn't I, know that. Oh, but then I, I mean, it's... I think that's fine. No, I think that's her actual... If anybody like heard any of that, just I think earmuffs. that's her actual title, though. But you I mean, see what I'm saying? Wow. I don't know. Yeah. But anyways, but they're, they're, if they yeah. if they want Michael Jordan to come out of retirement, they got the money to yeah. do it. Oh, yeah. I'm in shock that that, that word is this. I don't like know. Hey, 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 hey brother, 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 no, brother, 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 Oh, and to step NASCAR. over here and just be called fast car that's <laughs> that's, happening. Everything. that's it dude yeah i mean it's it's ridiculous I, oh what i really was saying is, was uh, they poured money into boxing but boxing was kind of kind of boring mm-hmm. hbo boxing went away that's been around for yeah. probably since our dads were alive yeah or our, still alive. alive but you know since born <laughs> since you know what i'm born, saying but since birth yeah <laughs> did yeah, the yeah. F- things uh-huh. yeah and uh but now that's gone <laughs> Yo, showtime boxing God. <laughs> gone yeah Where, why because guess what over there over the there. zone and whatever thriller or trailer trailer yeah. or whatever the apps are yeah they got the money I'm blowing it up yeah so yeah also tyson too old to fight what's going on dude i think that was wasn't it a hernia thing and that what they no said? he had a not a hernia but it's a word very similar to that uh Android. no Ulcer. <laughs> it was an <laughs> ulcer. <laughs> a hernia and hemorrhoid. It's a little different. But yeah, things broke I guess, out. Like, I mean, they both start with H. So yeah. <laughs> he had an ulcer getting onto a plane. I don't even know how you figure that out. Probably explode. It probably burst. Yeah, but is he plane. just going to be like... Dude, that's not <laughs> what happens? <laughs> He's just like... Ah. It turns into Thanos at the end of... Yeah, he just... Yeah, dust away. No, I'm not gonna I just make think it. It's like super uncomfortable. <laughs> like I think it like once they rupture, it's like yeah. game over. But I once had a buddy of mine. Wait, what? Hold on. What? Like once... a stomach ulcer. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I think when they get when they get super bad and they can burst, it's like you're not doing anything. Mm-hmm. But I used to have a buddy of mine. His name's Grant. But we he moved out to Molino, and they were on a pretty big piece of property. But it's like is that in Florida? Yeah, it's kind of past cantonment. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Of the, of the okay. It just you the keep can. going and the you'll can. get there. The <laughs> uh, right before Flemington, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> so many shitty things. <laughs> She's like, please stop. Flemington. You're fucking Is lying. Like a... Isn't it's it real. like Flomaton? <laughs> oh my god, brother. She got flow motion? <laughs> you, you into flow motion? <laughs> flow grappling. Dude, oh, shit, it's flow grappling. Out but there. he, but out there, it's 
it's when a, you it's buy property out yonder like yeah out yonder when you buy yeah. property it's all wood so they <laughs> had to knock down a bunch of trees so their yard is all sand cuz they're trying to build the foundation <laughs> so they just put out like you could buy at uh Tractor Depot? Tractor Supply Company. Tractor Supply Company. You can buy rolls of just, like, plastic. Mm -hmm. So they bought huge rolls of it and just would put soap and water and go yard surfing. Cause you that know, sounds so no fun. There's no beach. Uh, right? I well, we built... Uh, we, <laughs> what we used to do yard is, like, build surfing, up the yard. Yeah. yeah. And he ramped off of it with a boogie board and he landed, exploded... Uh, <laughs> what is the things you can explode in your body? <laughs> 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 the no. it's not your so a stuff I got yes yes yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was I trying to say esophagus yes 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 it's yes. the only other he's like he rubs shit his asparagus <laughs> <laughs> it's like dude what <laughs> holy shit oh dude but he exploded it and they barely made it to the hospital in time he was going to die because it this just this is a blew tangent up. how the fuck Appendix. did we get here yeah. I don't know how, how did we get to <laughs> this is reminding me of I was I was hanging out with my friend Anna like a month ago and like we so I don't know I don't know how this happened but like we were talking about um we were talking about like bleaching assholes and then literally like tw yeah. and then like tw 12 minutes later we were on the subject of like reincarnation and like crying about our like dead like for our favorite dead relatives like it was like Damn. it was wild <laughs> it was that bleach is getting to y'all's heads it was, a ride. It was that's a ride. soaking in it was good it was good uh, isn't that crazy the you can you can like get drunk off of drinking alcohol through your ass but yeah. if you bleach your asshole, you don't get fucked up. I think you can. I think I like. I think Are you speaking from experience? There, I think if you get bleach in there, it sounds weird. It, but I like if you get it in your bloodstream and shit, it'll fuck you up. Like, you can die. Has anybody ever died from like bleaching your asshole? I think that's why you got to go to like that a professional. Is... Mm. A good question. Yeah, also, like if you're bleaching your bleeding. asshole, are you are you doing it to bleach the hair or the asshole? I think it's more whole. Uh, the whole yeah, yeah, but then if you get bleach on your skin, it that doesn't was, come wider. That was Did my main <laughs> question. Cause maybe I, it's a different bleach. Is anyone, like, yeah, maybe it's mm, not even bleach. Probably. It's, not it, even, yeah, it's just probably the terminology is something or something. Died probably is like a non, non-toxic non variety. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, like, I don't you know, know. Know. anyone died bleaching it? No. How can you bleach like Clorox is dilute enough that it generally caught. Even Google doesn't know what we mean. Like, can you color it different colors? Can you do like a blue <laughs> asshole? Yeah, but I think I think if anybody sees that, they're out. You, know what I mean? <laughs> you see a blue asshole, you're like something's wrong. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. gotta get out. You, you know? need to stop using that thing. Give it a break. Uh, uh, anal bleaching. I don't know. Let's just go. That's what I'm saying. Here. Like, did you know you can overdose on bananas? <laughs> this is true. You can overdose I, because the potassium can make your heart stop. Who are you talking about this with on the podcast? Oh, did I already bring this up? You, I think you this, did. Oh, fuck. Where you can you? overdose on bananas? Oh, the, uh, the amount of potassium in them? Yeah. yeah. Dude, also, Joey Chestnut got banned from the uh, hot dog eating contest. Nathan's. Oh, I saw that. What I, the it came fuck? Up on my, you know how sometimes your phone just sends you yeah, yeah. articles that they think you're going to enjoy, For but sure. none of them are relative and you're just like why did you send me that but that was one of them that popped up and i was like yeah but see some of them guy? land some of them land that but reminds me is. joey chestnut yeah he beat kobayashi that's crazy okay no idea i can't believe you don't even know that okay yeah. joey chestnut me... is a boston hero sorry go ahead you're good that just made me think of something so <laughs> like a few a few months ago uh, do y'all know what like hobby horses are what'd you say do y'all know what hobby horses are? Exactly hobby horses? Out. Yeah. Have you seen the... I am the number one hobby horse in... Ho have you seen this lady? No, on I haven't. What? But Bruh, this... Maybe I don't know the name of... Are you talking about anyway, the people yeah, that are can, horses? Yeah. Continue, can, continue your story. So yeah, let randomly, me story. all of these like hobby horse... Because I didn't hobby even... Hobby horses. 
I didn't even know it was like a thing. Apparently, it's like an actual fucking sport yeah. and stuff. Arrow. Randomly, all these hobby I, horse Arrow? videos started coming up in my Instagram algorithm. Oh, you're about to awesome. fuck up my YouTube. And I, I was like, why? Yeah, we're I, fucked. <laughs> and I don't know why. I never talked about it with anyone. Like, never. It, it was so random. I still have the one come up that's like a. Le- she's like making a joke out of it, but it is one of the best videos. What did what did you say the lady said best in the world? I am the best in the world. Yeah, you she's said? like I am the number one hobby horse, whatever. Like I can't remember. Okay, wow, the they don't have says. a lot of videos because it keeps suggesting the same three. I am. The but do you one? just from like the wow. um, the thumbnails? That's what. Did they do tricks? They this is oh, like dude, an actual sport. It's crazy. Don't you sometimes feel locked in and you're like, I know some shit about the internet and nobody knows. And then <laughs> someone shows you something and like, you're like, how did I not know about like, this? Yeah. Bless it's, oh, I mean, wow. I'm happy for wow. them. Like, they, you know, I, like, I'm not. They're being sweet. Though. I know. It's, I feel, it is, I know. You're evil, it's not, dude. No, I'm Bring not. Bring it. What were no, you trying to say? I'm not saying anything. It was just very random. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, it just was very random how it popped up in my algorithm. This is what people feel I, about us I doing jujitsu. I am still in. Sh- they probably do oh, for sure, sure. I think that all the time. Like sometimes when we're going over techniques and stuff, and like you know, people are just in certain positions. I'm like, wow. If someone walked in here and oh, knew yeah. absolutely nothing about this, they'd open the door and be like, what the fuck oh. is going if you on? See I tell a, you that if you see a triangle, Arjun, what is yeah. going on with here? the windows, <laughs> if the windows are open oh, and somebody's yeah. going over to that like medical marijuana spot or something and they just, you know, peep like, look. you know how many times families walk by and they're like, oh, dude. <laughs> and then they do a double take. They walk away for yeah. a few seconds, come back and they're like, and I'm good. Are you <laughs> yeah. Make your better law. Make a better law. <laughs> yeah. Can you all? This is real deal, dude. This can, should be the. Can the, everyone in y'all's family say jujitsu? No. Mm-mm. Okay. Have one person. <laughs> just making sure that's not no. only yeah. my family. A lot of the times they're just karate. Oh, no. You do karate she still. Kung fu. You kung fu. Kung fu. Kung, that's what my dad. Just very. Bro- it's kung fu. It's like, dude, I've never even seen a kung fu gym. <laughs> right. It's very true. But jujitsu fucks people up. It's yeah. so. You, if you just say it confidently, it just shoots at you. Yeah. But they'll be like, <laughs> Don't laugh at that. I know. <laughs> Dude, she was trying her best. <laughs> okay? no, she so... really was. I like how they're standing there and trotting well, honestly, in place. You would think that they would have different classes for height. Weight too. classes and height. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know Ages. Because I mean? like, if you got long ass legs, you can. It's, step it is over really those. sweet. Like, I, oh my God. There. Do they have mini hobby horses? No. <laughs> like, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. My, yeah. yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure there are some aficionados. Wow. This what is, is that, Billy? Like, their faces, Billy Bobby like Brown they right there? are serious. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> also, like, I, and you got to know, like, she whenever they, legs I don't know, <laughs> they're so wrapped up. <laughs> She's hurt. Damn. And and if they really hurt a leg, do they put them down? Do what? If they hurt a leg, do they put them down? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you know what i'm saying because like oh in a god. real if we're being really yeah horse like yeah you know what would be great <laughs> get injured you're done on these videos oh my god yes, that yes. would be the fun part <laughs> let's see my mom says if i fall again oh god here we go 50th person okay the, the horse, horse in the background. Background. <laughs> dang i just got replaced by well, mom <laughs> 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 oh, no. oh my gosh uh, well you're welcome these are now gonna be in y'all's algorithm she's gonna threaten to ban me from writing every time oh, I shit. fight that period for my own lessons audrey slays for real that was that username <laughs> what if i your... pile of dirt <laughs> she's opening a fake one with a real one in the background <laughs> and she's so lucky oh look at her wow. okay honestly why a lot she... more positive <sighs> than I thought why is she wearing honestly yeah for sure gear though that's the well, day I became a national neck. hobby horse champion. <laughs> wow, that's 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 a fake. Oh, mistake. this one's even more ridiculous though. Look, the <laughs> dressage or whatever it's called, oh. dressage. Yeah, when they like <laughs> when they crip walk and shit. Yeah, yeah. they. 
<laughs> oh, look at her do her ankles like that. Dude, I'm telling you, they're crip walking. Okay, Wait what even it. was that? <laughs> You're <laughs> just... <laughs> 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 Bro, I, 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 I was stunned on these out, people, really. dude. I was... Bitch in reverse. <laughs> Give me the fucking Swiffer out of the kitchen. I'm a fucking... <laughs> that bitch in reverse, I'm a dummy of these chicks. Dude, this is fixation. awesome. Dude, my yeah, our fan. algorithm's about to be ruined for a few months. Yeah. Oh my Instagram, god, look at her. The Instagram is gonna be bad too, because <laughs> you know just talking about it is gonna bring it up. Bro, she would kill in football. You have to do that as a drill. Those are called kill. Uh, how do you? Know? <laughs> what is the <laughs> thing where you're like <laughs> grapevines? Maybe grapevines. You're I, so encouraging to these. Yeah, she would crush. She got footwork. She she could probably box. She got footwork. She she got footwork. Brother, Look, in and I out, in and out, in and out. My footwork is ass. What is she wearing on her <laughs> neck? Oh, area. what is okay. that? That's a, a mane. Is it? Is it the hoe? <laughs> <laughs> I don't can't. even know, brother. Man, I really All right, let's, find this video. Let's, uh... <sighs> wow. Man, that's good shit right What, what, did, what video are you looking up? Ooh. I'm trying to find the lady. The one that I was talking about. Oh, brother. It's like she's I'm making a joke out of the oh, world. Here, just found it. You found it? Yeah. What is it? Is it on YouTube? Um, I don't think so. I don't, maybe? <laughs> Brain sounds for sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I gotta find this. What is the lady? Just send it to yourself. Filmed by evening. Yeah, but this, is on, this isn't YouTube. No, I know. I don't what think is her it name? is on YouTube. Just what is her name? Allie Clayton. Allie Clayton? Yeah, she's a comedian. Allie Clayton, comedian? <laughs> that's not oh, her. That's so good. Oh, maybe she's like done. I think that is her. Maybe Allie Clayton, but. Look up Allie Clayton, hobby horse. Allie Clayton, hobby horse? <laughs> Allie Clayton, <laughs> James. What the fuck? What? <laughs> Dude, oh, what oh, the hell? God. Oh my God. Is it my even my TV doesn't That's... understand anything. <laughs> Allie Clayton Hobby Horse. What did it think you said? I... Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna turn the volume up. Everybody, just listen. I don't give a fuck if we get like copyrighted or whatever. I'm Emma. Um, I began hobby horsing when I was twenty. <laughs> um, oh. Started really competitively uh, by the time I was seventeen. And um, I'm now 47. Oh, my awesome. God. Um, just Aww. always surrounded by, by women. Um, <laughs> I, like wi to, I like to be surrounded by I like women. Obviously, this is my main horse. My really, I'm back on my ride, I die. You do competitive sport like any other sport, say uh, bowling, rollerblading. <laughs> People, some people try to understand. I try to explain to the Americans. I am the Michael Jordan of oh. and then, um, as far as <laughs> Good for her. Yeah, that is wild. They call oh, I thought that was a legit child. Like Dude, she does look like Finlandish. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, Finish. this is real. And then How, I, like, wait, realized that it wasn't. she's 47? No, 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 no. I think she's, like, a probably 20, 30-year-old lady, yeah. but, but she was just, like, joking. Oh, this yeah, yeah, is... But it's a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, this yeah. is yeah. not real. But okay. when I saw it for the first time, I was like, this I lady's thought, for real. And, like, I, I like... that was real, too, yeah. so that's why I was, like, I didn't... I saw okay. it again, though, and I like, I, like, looked at it, and I was like, oh, okay, it's, like, it, she's a comedian okay. making this yeah. post. But I was like, the first time I saw it, I was like, damn, that's rough. Yeah. Damn. It's good shit. That's tough. Uh do we wanna do we wanna do the map thing first or do we wanna do the top do three? This fucking map thing. I don't know what the hell is going yeah, on. Yeah, let's do the map thing. I so know. she no, she no, listened no. to some of the podcasts in the back and she has some right. uh yeah. she has a stance about the whole Miami thing. Alright, so yes. So your I okay. think it was uh was it I think it was the episode with. S oh, we've done a hundred episodes on this. We were well, she was with, a tattoo. Um, Samana. Sam, yes. Yeah. So you, your claim was okay, that wildly aggressive. <laughs> Restart. <laughs> it was aggressive. But let's hear you what she has to say. You made the blasphemous Oof. statement. Getting worse. That. Every <laughs> everything south of Jacksonville is Miami. Absolutely, and I stand that behind is, that. That is wild. I stand on ten toes, dog. 
That is so wild. And here's wild. the thing. Listen, I know, like, I get where you're coming from, but you can't, he's not, he's not, he's never wrong. He's never going to be wrong, <laughs> unfortunately. You can pull out an entire map, you can break the whole fucking thing down for him. He's like, North Miami, dude. That's the way it's going to be. Look, and That's crazy. Go ahead and present. There, go yeah. ahead, you're good. There yeah. are so, like, Florida is, and this is coming. <laughs> Listen, take this with a grain of salt, everyone, because I am not a Florida native. But oh, Flemington. Flemington. <laughs> Flo motion. Flo motion. Um I just think to classify everything south of Jacksonville is crazy uh, it as Miami is yeah. crazy. Yeah. And brother because... never said I wasn't crazy. Yeah. I mean I think you're right. I also yeah, I believe that, definitely. But, right, but she so I mean... Yeah, she has a map. All right. What she it's believes to be the truth, and I, it's she, a lot. She probably went to regular school. You went to regular school, <laughs> Reg- Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm, see, I'm point proven. Is public school, school regular school? <laughs> Brainwashed I don't know. school. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what? What kind of school did you go to? I went to school, but I had kept my eyes open. Yeah, yeah. He just oh, fa- shut he up. Just means, I can't he just remember. means you failed a couple grades. Yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah. Two grades, who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> Did you graduate? Yeah, dude. Uh, oh, <laughs> forgive me. Yes, oh Y'all are cold God. in here, dude. What? That's so funny. I didn't Did even You mean keep that talking. Con- Jacksonville's listen, gonna be Miami now. Listen, I didn't mean that condescendingly. I just was no, you asking. Didn't. No, that's I fine. The shit out of you for that. I'm, that's that's fine. I'm glad. I, I didn't know y'all talked before this. That's what I didn't know. <laughs> Did you graduate? <laughs> That's cool. You graduated from West Florida, right? <laughs> am I supposed I don't know. Like, am I supposed to... Yeah, let's see what's yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I have, let's see what's I have you, notes in just, a legend, yeah. too. Oh, a legend involved. Do you know what a legend is? <laughs> I've heard like <laughs> Mothman. Not, I am legend. That's a good point. No, no, no. Like Mothman, point. Bigfoot. <laughs> JFK, no, 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 those no. legends. I'm not those. Did mm. you go to regular school? I, well, yeah, I did. No, he okay. didn't. No, oh, be honest. I went to regular high school. Everything before that, I went to a private school. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm my, just kidding. From I'm when sorry. I was like two to like eighth grade. Yeah, go ahead. Like you shot some shots class. at me. Go ahead and shoot his ass. <sighs> Whoa, dude. <laughs> I didn't fail any. Listen, grades, I'm though. not good at like roasting. Yeah, people, your mom, so. dude. <laughs> your, your mom paid for you to be good, dude. <laughs> They're like, hey, he doesn't fail I anything, right? I came out a right? lot better than you did, didn't I? Yeah, no shit. There you go. We poor. I got no. it like that. <laughs> I had it like that. All right. Hey, public anyway. school. Public school can be good. Can well, be good. Yeah, well, well, all right. Up here, it's a little. Anyway. We'll, we'll judge off the map. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> the legend. All right. So. Get that I mic. don't know where to start. Okay, I guess. Did you label your notes notes? <laughs> yes! <laughs> you wrote on the of top of the page I notes? Did. notes. <laughs> oh, awesome. Lord. Okay. No, okay, no continue. All I'll, right. No, yeah. So see. there's clearly the panhandle. That's like everything, you know, from like the border. Of I will say I've out- never understood this. What? The panhandle? Wouldn't that be the part your hand holds? <laughs> the panhandle? I think... <laughs> I think that in this aspect, the larger part is the actual pan, and the handle is the smaller part. Doesn't that not make any Wait, sense? You know what I'm saying? Flourish even look, 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 I just know look, look, look. Shouldn't this be the handle because we're holding America? Mm-mm. So no. you think that the, the part? I already know you're wrong. That's why. That's Go the, ahead. But look, you just made yourself look like an idiot compared to the pan handle. You have a pan that looks like this. Not particularly. See what exactly I'm saying? Like that. So, like, if you hold Florida by the dick, <laughs> <laughs> but then all the of America, of America would like be a, a pan, pan- be way people? more panish than the <laughs> nah, <dude>. dick of America. <laughs> no, dude, y'all are wild. The dick anyway, of America. Continue what the panhandle. Aren't y'all okay. glad we're born now and not when we made maps? Because how <laughs> yeah, wrong y'all would be? Y'all don't want. Y'all don't want real maps. It's been rough. All right. Maps aren't real. So yeah, so you got you got like the panhandle, you know, that's like the the from like Alabama over to like I don't know, like um Saint George ish. Mm-hmm. You know? I don't even where's Saint George? It's, it's east like of us. the 
cor like the corner of the it's like here-ish somewhere i listen yeah. i don't know everything tallahassee okay? i just i have an idea it's further over than but like okay. you got yeah. the panhandle so the panhandle is obviously it's basically alabama but just in florida like we prefer deep south yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we prefer deep exactly. south <laughs> um so anyways uh then you know you go you go <laughs> I feel so stupid. This is She's so not even crazy. confident in her own map. You see what I'm saying? I listen. Brother, There's some holes in this. You don't have anything to fucking talk. Okay. I have a map. You want? I'll, my, okay. I'll show my map next. I'll say. I'll say. Like my point in creating this was just to say that, like, I think you're mistaken in thinking that the there's so few like cultural regions in Florida. Ouch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I will say, no, 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 nope. You almost had me. You almost had me. No. No, I got you. Go ahead. I got no, you did. I got you. I have it. I got. You. I I was like, let me think. Nope. <laughs> I figured out what you just tried to do to me, and I said no what? to that. What did I, I try to do to you? You're saying like I can't recognize that things are different. Yeah, like a bunch of different shit. I right. Mean, Wait till I mean, my map comes out. For you to say that everything south of Jacksonville is basically Miami, that's a that's pretty crazy. Go ahead with your it's map. Pretty crazy. So <laughs> I got a map, brother. Anyway, all right. So then, if you go to like the Atlantic coast, but still in you know northish Florida, this is probably like I would say like that's kind of everything. Uh, obviously, like jacksonville st augustine that's kind of like the hub ish area but it's like kind of everything north of like orlando mm -hmm. so that's like north florida atlantic coast kind of also like alabama but maybe closer to georgia maybe a little like maybe a little more progressive little because, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah you know you have so you have like that region and then you have like the gulf coast but like south of the panhandle and I feel like this is um, probably down to, like, uh, maybe down to, like, a little north of Naples. It's kind of like the, you've got, like, a Midwest, like, hippie-ish vibe. Yeah, there's a you lot of that. You know what I that. mean? There's a like, lot of that. Like, it's, that, even, like, Indian Rocks and, like, St. Pete. And yeah. Like that, there's a lot of that in there. Yeah. I love but there's also a lot of like area. super country shit in like Bradenton. Yeah, you know what there's, I mean? and I'm not say like I'm not saying that like I think everyone yeah, in yeah, these yeah, areas yeah. is the same. Obviously, like there's new. I'm just saying like it's yeah. a general like yeah, yeah, cultural yeah. overview of the area, or at least like what I think in my experience. I've been to a lot of uh, <laughs> places in Florida. <laughs> Anyways. Um, fuming. <laughs> <laughs> Literally fuming. <laughs> then you have like... He's about from, to rage quit. <laughs> then you got like... Okay, so we're going back to like the Atlantic coast. Then you have like from around Orlando to like maybe down to say like West Palm Beach. So that area. That's like mm. the space coast. Like mm. pretty... Cape Canaveral and all that shit. Yeah, 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 like pretty cool. Not, I would say like not a ton going on there, but like good surfing and you know. Isn't Daytona over there too? Yeah, yeah. In that, yeah. I would, I would say that's. Yeah. Maybe Daytona might be like bordering on like North Florida. I feel like Daytona's like, near-ish Jacksonville. Oh, it is yeah, north, like, isn't it, from Cape Canaveral? It's like Canaveral. Daytona, Flagler yeah, yeah, yeah. Beach, yeah. so on and so forth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got, like, the surfer, I guess, surfer vibe there. And then I'd say, like, when you when you start to get close to, like, West Palm Beach and down, um, that's, like, what I would consider, like, South Florida. Yeah. Um, and... South Florida, I think, has its own vibe. Like, it's it's very much, um, like, there's so many people, especially, like, from the north there, you know? Like, you, there's a lot of, like, Jersey people, like, New York people. Um, so it's kind of more, like, fast-paced, less of that, like, Midwest hippie yeah. vibe. You know what I mean? And then, like, Miami is just kind of, like, a world in its own. And I think, I know, like, 
I don't know. I feel like people like to, like you, like to shit on Miami. And while I don't think I would want to, like, live there, I think I think it gets a bad rep. Like, I think there's a lot, there's a lot more than just, like, the crazy like clubbing culture i think it's yeah. cool it's like it's an it's a it's kind of like another another country but like still in the united states yeah. i think it's cool that's like, been the truest thing you've said another <laughs> country have you ever been to actual miami i've been to miami like the actual one i've been in miami i have a magnet i bought a miami magnet <laughs> from the airport right miami <laughs> but where in my like af- <laughs> airport what did you do from there? Got on a plane and got out of there. <laughs> <laughs> oh so did you, you didn't leave the airport Miami's at all. Cool. No. Oh, so you haven't. But you have. I was spent in, any Miami time in Miami airport. Okay, so you got. So you were in the airport. The that's airport it. sucked. The, yeah, Miami. Yeah, airport the Miami. Fucking blows. Yeah, that's Miami the. Blows. That's the worst. So if I'm gonna go down there, like I would much rather fly into um, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Um, the, yeah. The airport it blows ass. That yeah. place does suck. But it it really. But you've does. never spent any Look, time in actual mi- like been around the mic. There. Straighten it. Yeah, like to face your mouth. There you go. Okay. So you've never spent actual time in Miami. I looked out the window. I saw it. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so your claim Look really rough. is based off nothing. Really? You have Just no let me know when I should go. Just you let me know. No standing at it's all, cool. I feel like the key is like you have to have you have to have time and like unless you're just a person who's like a partier, like go out during the day. I also think I you think have to have an open mind. Which... Yeah, for sure. Hey, well, hello? <laughs> Doesn't have. That's so not true. That... Just let me know when my map needs to go. I just, I just think that you're, uh, you are set and you like your things this way, this certain way, and if they're not that way, you don't like them. You're the only. It's you say that because you live with me. That's it. Right, and that's mm-hmm. why you don't. Like you don't going see places. me outside this house. I flourish. Bro, I flourish. Bro, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> dude, you come back here on your lunch break every day. <laughs> It's a nice house. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> All right. But you see what I mean? It's like you're very set in your ways. You like the thing. You like your certain things the certain way. And that's, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But, but, but you've got to have, you've got to be oh, open yeah. to doing no, shit. No, I was just to gonna... like, to go to a different place and actually like experience. I could go places. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go places, dude. You're I not just, putting dude, this. I, just... I bet you if we go to a casino. In Biloxi, while we're over there, he's gonna be like, "How long are we gonna be here?" He's like, I don't wanna be <laughs> well, here. Yeah, well, because that decision in itself me. makes me nervous. What? It's hard enough to get the money; I can't even let it go. <clears throat> I don't like. I don't. I don't love casino. <laughs> I don't love casinos. Like, it makes me like. I don't know. I just feel like you know those old people that just like sit there all day and like do the slots and shit like oh, i yeah. i that feel like they're say. just like sitting there like shitting in their diapers you know like they're just wow. like it's, true. It's, <laughs> it's it's problem and it's, it's like problem. it's sad like yeah. it's so sad they're yeah, just it can be it can be so but anyways yes okay yeah i just think there's like a lot more like i think if i think you should go to miami one day when you have like a full day or two and like actually get recommendations and have a plan because there's there's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff there yeah maybe if i commit a crime and i'm sentenced he already hates it and he's never been there so (laughs) if he goes there he's gonna go into it hating it that's the thing that's like his he already hates it so if i take him there or somebody takes him there he's gonna be like i fucking hate this place Mm -hmm. and he's gonna make he's gonna find everything he can to hate it if somebody takes me there it's against my will it's like new orleans now like you hate new orleans oh i don't like new orleans Orleans. yeah so every time we go over there it's like i fucking hate this place because look new orleans is just mobile but like on steroids See, I, I don't think, think so. I New think Orleans people, has a single road that everybody's like, "This I, is cool." And if you go off that road, so um, much other shit. No, there, there right is. There. That's the thing. I think people like. I think people associate cities with just like the super touristy parts of it. That's like, what for example, and ev- party and right, clubs. and like that's it, and just uh, what's the everyone just thinks like just south beach or they associate bourbon street with new orleans when there's yeah. like literally like 
so much more and like my um yeah when your best quality is your worst quality <laughs> no it's, it's not like a good indication quality, of what though. the rest of it is I, dude any restaurant we've ever been to in new orleans has been off of bourbon street that's yeah i know yeah there's so much that's what i'm saying there's so much other so shit my, yeah but have why you guys hasn't ever it been to atlanta yeah yeah have y'all ever been i'm this is kind of niche but or like i guess it's niche if if you're not like from the area, so you may have no idea what I'm talking about. But like, um, have you ever been to like the Virginia Highlands part of Atlanta? I it feel like I familiar, have, but I okay. don't know. You may have. I. It's kind of a. It's a little bit. Um, it's like a a well established part of Atlanta. It's not the down. It's not like the direct downtown area. Um, it's really cute. Is it where that I, walk is? The, where the it's walk. like a walk that goes like 10 miles it probably and does. they do art oh, on it are you talking about the belt line yes yeah. okay it's not it's not the belt line but the belt line's really cool too but what i was gonna say is like so my stepsister um grace she lives in new orleans actually and um i haven't been to her new apartment but when i went to her old one it was in this area called uh, Magazine Street, mm -hmm. which is like I think not, I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. So it's not like Bourbon Street. It was a really cute, like well established area. It reminded me of like the J Virginia Highlands area of yeah. Atlanta. So I guess like what I'm trying to say is like the Magazine Street was where? In, it's in New Orleans, but I... Oh, yeah, I have seen I think that. it's like, I think it intersects Bourbon. I think yes. it runs north and south. It, and I think, yeah, I think it goes or east or whichever I'm way. Real quick. I'm about to pee. Yeah, go dog. ahead. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it does. I think it intersects yeah. with bourbon. Do you know where, um, like, I think it's, I think it's called like Audubon Park. It's a, Audubon? it's a park. Uh, yeah, they, they've got a bunch of like that, the park. There's a zoo over there too, I yes, think. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah, was yeah. like the area that she lived in. Yeah. So like it wasn't, you know, right. It's not. It's not Bourbon Street, yeah. is what I'm trying to say. Like, well, and I think that a lot of people, like, automatically think of bourbon when they think of New Orleans. And don't get right. me wrong, it's cool to go do, to, like, yeah, go experience or whatever. Yeah. But, like, for me, there's so much history, specifically food, because I, like, yes. worked in the restaurant oh, forever. the food is like, so good. Like, the food history there and the amount of people that got their start there and that have yeah. worked in these badass restaurants and have mm -hmm. done shit there, that's the part for me that, like, and, like, don't get me wrong, there's, like, museums and badass antiques. Like, the antiques over there is ridiculous yeah dude. like so there's all kinds of other and shit. just the people like yeah, i just I mean, like I, uh, I i mean i i am like that though like i just love like i just love i'm open to like chatting with random yeah, people yeah i think I, you got in new orleans you kind of you got to be a little careful for sure yeah you know? yeah but, for sure but i mean but that's anyway i mean now. exactly but, but yeah, I think for me, that's what the like allure of New Orleans is. It's like not the like party, especially now because I don't drink. But like the it's the it's the you know Commander's Palace and all these badass restaurants and Emerald's Restaurant and all these places and Pesh and all the shit that like have been there for a long time or that are just starting that are like making way. That is the kind of shit to me that like mm -hmm. really is the important parts of New Orleans mm -hmm. that like um, I guess not a lot of people really know about. But for me, that's the important shit. And and I think that. Miami has a lot of that kind of stuff too. You yeah. know what I mean? That's yeah. been well established or has been there for a long time that isn't just like the Bourbon Street of Miami, mm -hmm. you yeah. know? So, my point was uh, shouldn't your best thing be your best thing then? Well, I don't. Shouldn't passion I don't places think, be the thing that you're known for? I don't think so. so. See, I feel like. I don't think so. I then feel it would like. Just be a, another Bourbon Street. You know, I feel like then you would think the about best, it the same way. The best, the best thing is like different than the thing that's most popular. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Like, like Bourbon Street, when that's what people think of, or a lot of people think of when they think of New Orleans. Like, that's like popular, but that doesn't mean it's the best thing yeah. that New Orleans has to offer. I think, Which sucks. You know, the first thing I think of when I think of New Orleans. What's up, Dragos? Oh, that's sick. Well, look, what is the most known thing about Pensacola? Probably the beaches. Yeah. It's our best thing. I don't think that's our best thing. What is the best thing in Pensacola? 
I think Palafox is honestly probably the best thing. I don't know. There's a lot of Blue Angels. Yeah, but the wildest. arguably, depending on the type of person you are, you could say the beach but is I the best thing. But I think there's best things and for that different is people. We're... Yeah. I think every yeah. person yeah, has Yeah, but gen- we're talking it's about very... the generalized That's humans. <laughs> Whatever. I think that's what we're most known for is our white beaches. Definitely. Yeah. And arguably the best thing we have. Most known for. That's a good way to put yeah. it. Like most known for, rather than like best or. See now Because best wishes. can be. <laughs> Except real. Um, <laughs> so do you guys want my map or. Yeah, let's hear what your yeah. long ass has to say. Okay, look, this. I'm maybe not going <laughs> to give such an elaborate description of each location because like don't need to. Uh, but. <laughs> I ha- just take that Are you picture. saying that? No, I didn't just take this. I took this weeks ago. I, I definitely thought it out. <laughs> so you have Pensacola. This is I'm just naming the things that actually matter. So we have Pensacola, <laughs> and that's where we're at because you know what's up, right? Yeah. So like, comment, subscribe, sub on YouTube. That's all we need. Mm-hmm. Then you have Tallahassee, the other arguably probably the second biggest partying thing in Florida behind Miami. I don't oh, think I there's – yeah, I it's it's never, arguably that the is most, one place I have never been. Tallahassee, in yeah. Hey, not it's, trying to take a shot at Tallahassee. You you're good. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you can I'm go not watch interested. A it's just like a hill not, with a school in it. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, I mean, not fuck okay, that. Yeah. That's mean. But yeah, wow, <laughs> anyways, like hey, I just mean like <laughs> as far not as very like cultured not, of you. <laughs> I know that was that was yeah, horrible. Yeah. No hate to Tallahassee. They are a big party. As far as visiting, I'm not. Um, uh, probably second biggest location, Jacksonville. They also throw UFC events. We've been to one pretty dope, right? Jacksonville's I, cool. I wouldn't say, well, careful. It's not the best, safest no. place. Probably the most drugs I've ever seen used live, oh. in person. Just You haven't been to New Orleans recently. <laughs> yeah, I haven't on purpose. Yeah. Um, And then once you round the corner... And you start coming down, which is about how things are going to get. You hit North Miami. That's like the up, like you're just below Jacksonville. You're almost in the Gainesville just type area. Bl- that is insane. It's oh, crazy they got is- it wrong in high school. Um, <laughs> and then insane. right about the mid thick part of what you guys call the, the pan, <laughs> whatever, you're going to get right into the thickest part of Miami. That is Miami. Okay. I know it's so- not labeled. Hold on. We're almost there. <laughs> and I know it's not labeled that way. And you so common misconception. It's probably considered. Uh, what are the words? Tampa and Fort Lauderdale. Okay, that's another thing. <laughs> hold on, hold on, no, no. You had your chance. Okay, that's Miami. Now below Miami, you hit South Miami, but most you, notably but known as <laughs> Miami. So you're saying South Miami has Miami in it? <laughs> All of them. Yeah. Hold on, I'm not done, brother. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. I'm not done. You're fucking wild. Okay, and you're right on the bottom, right oh, where man. Miami is. Probably that. Uh, beach thing you're talking about with all the white sand. Beach thing. What was the b- beach? The uh, South Beach. South Beach. South Miami. Anyways, and then whenever you get to the part where you have to take the interstate and the bridges because the keys. Yes. Where uh, Roadhouse Two. Roadhouse Two was taken. Mm-hmm. Now you just got floating away Miami. Doesn't even want to be a part of <laughs> Miami no more. That that's the part that's almost that's in the hold on. Are nothing hold on, like hold on, hold on. Miami, that's basically north just, cuba i don't even understand north how that's in this that's city. north cuba or puerto rico or whatever that is call down that there. floating away miami <laughs> give it a few years i bet you ain't touched no more but that's, it's not, that bridge but gonna need an extender it's so, it's so different dude it's, it is so completely much, yeah, different it's that's what i'm saying so it wants to be like north puerto rico what you keep putting saying? out different countries. North Cuba, North Puerto Rico. It's North Mexico. <laughs> no, North Pick Costa Rica. North. It, it's, it's North it's, Jamaica. It's like North, <laughs> It's like Northeast uh Brazil. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> That's absolutely what it is. Actually Stop. the more that I think about it, this it's not the Bermuda Triangle, it's Miami Triangle. The keys? Don't need that. Yeah. My mm-hmm. mind is Dude. flashing back. That's I just, insane. You're yeah, I I can also here. post this map if anybody wants to fight, but it's it's in there. 
Um, do you guys want to just jump to top threes? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. All right, this so is insane. top three this week, I thought it would be fun to talk about the top three nostalgic things. Like, and I guess you could argue that you could do it from any point in your life, like whatever's going to bring you back to the best part of your life. But nostalgic normally means like your younger life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So top three, and I know you've never done this with us, but we go three, two, one. So don't say your number one thing first, okay? Oh. Yeah, you do your three okay, and your two. Okay, I was having trouble, like, ranking all of mine, really, but... Well, if you don't have a ranking, it's fine. Do it however. But okay. don't say your top one. Yeah, like, if you have... We're all going to do our three okay. twos, and then we'll go back and do our ones. Yeah, okay. you know so I mean? you'll start off. You'll go honorable mention, three two. He goes honorable mention, three two. I go honorable mention, three two. Then you go back, and it goes your number one, his number one, my number one. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. <laughs> Can I grab my... my uh... Yeah, yeah, go ahead, okay. go ahead. I absolutely love that we have studied... Did you make a list? We're... Yeah. Okay. She <clears throat> wrote a list. Hand wrote. That's crazy. Yeah, see, that's insane. I mean, you've seen her map, so... I'll be real with you. There, I <laughs> there's not much I can write because I it's listen. Hard to I, hey, I will ar I will not argue with you on this my, because I've I've read the map. Right she here, sent okay? me the map. I've seen the map. Yeah. Your description of each little thing. I'm not arguing. It's a good description. Thank you. Allegedly. <laughs> am I am I starting? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You okay. you start yeah. off with your honorable All mentions right. if you have any and <laughs> whatever. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck mention. was that? Wait, so do I am I just do, doing one honorable mention or <laughs> If you got Oh yeah, you, you can, can run do, off some honorable. Yeah, you hey. Can do, like, you'll see when I, I get the mine. <laughs> okay, He's hold on. I have to mentions. like preface like I I always have whenever I get asked something that's like a top like 3 or like best or whatever i always have trouble choosing so i that's have, fine like, yeah yeah you'll see when i get to mine it's a bit of it's, a doozy we've been doing top threes for a long time he has never just done three you know what i mean it's hard so hard okay so my 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 honor i'll go and you can explain it you can yeah, live yeah. in yeah, the moment i'm a going bit. to because this good, good. one is like so i feel like I, i'm gonna have to and you might have to play it like it's really cheesy but mm. Um, so my first honorable mention is, um, it's this song called Halfway Around the World by the A-Teens. It's like, so let me explain. Oh, we can't play music though. You can play really low on there because you won't hear it in the mics. Yeah, I guess. Because remember sense. they're directional. Halfway Around the World, A-Teens? Like A-Teens? Eighteen. I know. I'm, that okay. I, that's what I thought you so meant. So before you play it, let me let me explain. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the I don't. This is like a song, like from the early early two thousands, I guess. Um, but my grand, I don't even know like where we originally heard the song or anything. But my grandparents, they had like a, uh, they had the, God, I don't even know. Like, that's so bad. I don't even know what it's called. Like, I guess a radio? Like a big... Wow. Like, <laughs> I just don't... I can't remember, like, uh, if it's called a radio, it was a, a boombox. I, I don't fucking know. know. Um. Anyway, so they they didn't have, like, that many, like, CDs or whatever. But they, they had this one CD with this song on it. And um, we'd always so like me and all my cousins like we'd get together at my grandparents house and we'd just play this song and like dance around and sing and stuff and it's a really like cheesy early 2000s song but it is it's just so nostalgic for me um got a special place yeah very this special is place an it honorable just, mention it yes honorable mention yeah it just brings me back to like just being with my cousins and at my grandparents' house and just dancing around and Super having a good ass time. Interesting video. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen there. the video before. Oh, what? What is fuck? this? <laughs> I've never seen this video. Hmm. 
I have to stop myself from singing it because. Is this Britney Spears? What <laughs> no. is going on here? This you feels like a hostel. Unless you were. <laughs> this what feels like f- a horror movie. Fuck. Okay, just, just listen. Train? Listen, like when it picks up, though, like okay. the chorus, it yeah. goes, See, it goes we'll, crazy. Wait till we get to the good part. It goes crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be waiting. Uh, it sounded like when you said around halfway around the world. I thought it was like around the world, around the world. <laughs> oh, I've definitely heard this part. Yeah, I've definitely heard All this. right. Okay. Well, uh, well, that was a good one. Um, yes. The <laughs> video is interesting, but no, it was good. I'm think, insulted. No, right. no. Listen, no, it's fine. We did, I, it's very we did say top nostalgia. Like, here's the thing about nostalgia is nobody can understand. Like, absolutely. nobody can understand what that means. Well, like, Just real you know quick, I mean? you did understand top three, not bottom three? All right, that was aggressive. Wait, I thought that was I thought that was like honorable mention. So I thought that was like the lower one. Yeah, well, you missed my joke your, there. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh. I'm, uh, yeah. No. I just thought. Yeah. Go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Keep continuing. All right. Continue. So, um, okay. So another honorable mention. Um, I'm gonna say never shall never. All right. Um, <laughs> Wait, what? Never shall never. Because <laughs> like a Vans Warped Tour band kind of thing. I was obsessed hey, not, with Never Shall Never. And what like is the main song? They know so much. Um, trouble. Do, hit me up with uh, something. In trouble, trouble. I'm, I'm an addict. addict. I'm oh. addicted to the score. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got gotcha. Um. I just want to sing that now. <laughs> <laughs> same. Got same. One. All right, my third. I'll just I'll I'll stop here for my honorable mentions. But my third one is another like middle school reference. But and y'all will have no idea what this is again. But um, the Victoria's Secret pink scent, um, fresh and clean, because that was like the most like so it was like a body spray like it wasn't Mm -hmm. like a fancy expensive perfume but it's discontinued now but like that's what like all the girls um at least where i was from like that's what all the girls would wear and it just like it just brings me back to my like middle school days Mm -hmm. and just so many like formidable years and yeah just Hmm. yeah hell yeah what's your two or what's your number number three that was her number. Two. Oh, I'm named. Okay, no, I she thought she was just was doing gonna... honorable mentions. Okay. I no, thought that was her number. That was your number three, wasn't it? No, that was honorable mentions. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. I so thought... now okay. you're number three, and now you're number two. Okay. Or do you want us to do honorable mentions? Do you have any? I yeah, have you one. guys go first. Okay, I don't you do like... your honorable I mentions. Two. I have two. Okay, so one. Okay, one of my honorable mentions is um, Hostess powdered donuts. Mm. Oh, like yeah. a little six pack of mm. Hostess powdered donut. My ev- like every Thursday morning, we would have either Mom's Day or Dad's Day, where my mom or dad didn't have to go into work, and they would take us into school like later or whatever. So we would stop and get g- gas station like breakfast, and that was the thing that I always got. Th- that could have been one in itself. Gas station breakfast. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that's those, such a hitter. Those powdered, the, but the fucking six pack yeah, powdered yeah, yeah. donuts, brother. Oh my god, those things. Those things fuck me Wait. up. But I remember eating those like in the back of the old Suburban that we had, like listening to music on the way to school with my dad. But um, yes, yeah, so that's one of them. My second honorable mention is Quorum Cologne. Quorum? Yeah, Quorum. It's like a not very, it's like kind of a cheaper cologne. But it was what my dad oh. wore growing up. He doesn't wear it anymore. But back when I was a kid, that's all he wore. Like when I was like young, young. Hmm. And even now when I smell it, it brings me back to like get, like seeing him get ready for work when I was super young in Sprown Cologne. And like that's like all I can see yeah. when I smell that cologne. Um, but yeah, those are those are two of my nostalgia honorable mentions. Nice. One of mine is not positive. An honor or a... Uh, an honorable mention nostalgia thing that doesn't really bring me good memories, but pops me right back into that time. Elizabeth Taylor white diamonds perfume. Oh God. Wow. 
I'm sorry. Wow. It's a, it's that, a str- wow. That hits you hard and you're like <laughs> so many negative men just No, no, no. Oh fuck. No, it's just the it's no, it's just the smell. Like no yeah. negative is so, it's just the For smell. me, for cool. sure negative. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, <laughs> I don't know if I've just, ever, oh, I just oh I'm sure I would know it if I really went Do you want to share? I almost went bad on that. <laughs> uh just overweight relatives that hug you and oh. won't let go of you <laughs> yeah. and you're just like oh i'm gonna die in this thing yeah yeah Oof. and like Not just <laughs> <laughs> i gotta get out of that way <laughs> i'm gonna rob this from you just because you made me feel so good about it gas station breakfasts yeah those are <laughs> like yeah. they're like they hit like they're so dude good. a QG you go in breakfast there, pizza yeah, you go in there with five dollars. You're yeah. king of the castle, bro. You're yeah. like, what am I? What combos am I putting together today? Yeah, dude. <laughs> like you could get like back in the day when they had like quarter candies, like sixlets, mm-hmm. sugar daddies, oh red hots. You could run, dude. You could go. You could get twenty candies. Yeah. Five dollars. Yeah. For some reason, tax didn't exist in a world like that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like adding <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, but you could walk out of there. They see you with a five dollar bill. They're gonna let you slide on some state tax. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they know what's up. Dude, and you got candy. You can flip that at school. Fuck yeah, dude. Um, the next one I'm gonna because those are freestyled because I just like something hit when y'all said the quorum or whatever it was. Mm. I was like, oh, I know one. Yeah. That one hurt. <laughs> um, oh damn, I I put it on here. Okay, so Saturday morning cartoons, mm. and I'm gonna Ooh, list that's some a of good them. One. It, it, there's so many that's good ones. A good one. Looney Tunes, Johnny Bravo, Ed Ed and Eddie, Spider Man, X Men, Digimon, Pokemon, Angry Beavers, Street Sharks, Gargoyles, Zoids, Pinky and the Brain, Animaniacs, Ducktales, Darkwing Ducks, Tailspin, Hey Arnold, God, Recess, man. Thundercats, Transformers. Ooh, Just to name a few. Yeah, that's like what? way too many. Samurai Jack, Teen Titans. See, different eras, but like. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like uh, uh, mm-hmm. Hanna Barbera. That was like an old school mm-hmm. cartoon. That I've was like TV that Land type cartoons. That was mm-hmm. like. Uh, they, there used to be like this uh, race around the world with cars and every car. It was like every cartoon you could think of all had their own vehicle. Mm hmm. Did you guys ever watch that? Uh, I can't even remember like what it was called, but it was on like Boomerang, and uh, That's basically it was what that funny ass, uh, that funny ass frog that would like sing when, um, like when someone was watching, and then and then he would like yes. try to get. He'd be like, was he wearing a suit baby. sometimes? Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, my baby. Hello, Hello my, my darling. Honey. Hello, oh, my no. time gal. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> let me look that up. I know what I you're talking about. I love that one. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know shit about that one. So that is M- Michigan J Frog. Huh. Michigan Jackson Frog is an animated character from the Warner Brothers Mary him. Melodies film. Such hmm. a king. Yeah. One froggy event. It's just like a, but that's him. I remember that. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's sick as fuck. He was born in 1955. Wow. Oh, good. Okay. You got his Wikipedia page pulled up? <laughs> I did. That's what it is, yeah, What's the comment? He was an Olympic wrestler? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. His, his, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's American. You got another honorable menchie, dude? No, that's that That was it. That was the one? Yeah, we can go 3-2 now. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Hit it with your 3 and 2. So, 3 and 2. Okay. Um, I forgot to like order these right, but I'm gonna go with for number three. Um, mm, I like how serious she's taking it. I just, it's so, it's so hard for me to like choose like a favorite or a best or like really like, like so many things I love. Well, then just give two, not necessarily in in any order ranking to you. All right. So I'm, okay. So I'm going to go with um, Creed. Creed. Yeah. 
the character or the the band? The band. The band. Fuck yeah. Because, yeah. like... It all <laughs> wide open. <laughs> so good. I'm actually going to see them. No <laughs> way. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Where? Um, it, they're coming to um, Atlanta or, like, Alpharetta in... Um, I think it's in september or something but or um, my birthday is in with... september that's crazy oh yeah Dude, that's fucking <laughs> sick yeah um i bet they're popping right now yeah oh, i'm shit. super excited they but... should go back and do the super bowl again <laughs> that's the best halftime super bowl show ever yeah for real for real i've agreed yeah but yeah creed because like they're just fucking dope and it just brings me back to like I have, for me, it's an association with my dad, like, which I feel like a lot of, like, 90s and early 2000s, like, babies, like, have that same yeah. association. But, like, my dad would, so my dad lived in Alabama um, when we were younger, and so we'd, you know, listen to, it'd be, like, a few-hour drive, and he'd have Creed on, like, so much. So it's just, it's an association with him and just, like, um getting to because we'd only get to see him like every other weekend for a while yeah. so it's an association with him and like the comfort of knowing like we're going to dad's this weekend like yeah. just yeah that's so, a good one good. Here, here's a here's a fun little creed game we could play oh god see if we can sing some of the songs i got like <laughs> loaded oh, over here with the arms that. wide open yeah when you are with me I'm free. I I'm one. careless. I, I, I believe. I don't remember that one. All right. Hold me now. I'm six feet from the edge and I'm playing. Um, <laughs> what is the. What's the other one? Can they do take me higher? higher? Yeah. Near, what's near, the fucking. Near. <laughs> 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 Creed was so the good. original Nickelback. They've got, People bro. really and didn't know that. Both of them. So good. Yes. Fucking love Dude, Nickelback. Nickelback has got some hitters. I don't yes. give a fuck what anybody says. <laughs> I still rock some Nickelback. Yes. Okay? Fuck I thought yeah. I shit the fuck on. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So good. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a good one. I like that one. Yeah. Sure. One last breath. Play that. Can't really play them. Um, yeah, you can. Just hold it out here. Oh, so Go ahead. Oh, that, I can't. Get that no, don't hold it in. I, I just. Get it. Yeah, I know, but you can hear it. Listen. <laughs> oh yeah, I know the intro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> this is. What is your favorite Creed song then? Um. I know mine. And it's tough, dude. It's. I, God, I don't. That's hard. This is that's, my favorite. I think it. I think mine is the quarters in session. Can you take me uh, higher? That's like, honestly, in. arms wide open is just such a good song. No like it's so good. Doctor Dangerous, my own <laughs> sins. <laughs> All right, before we get too into Creed, what's yeah, your yeah, second? Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. So second um, is Harry Potter, and that oh, also word. like uh, the books or movies. But I mean, just honestly, just like the whole thing in oh, okay. general. Okay. But They're like coming out with more. Yeah, I think Harry Potter. it's a oh, really? se they're making a series on HBO yeah. Max, right? Really? Yeah, not or the Max, like I guess. wonderful world. Mom, yeah. Not that Harry Potter, which oh. is crazy. That's tight. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one. Cute, yeah. What, what about you, brother? And Let me pull them up. Let me pull them up. Um, okay, number three is. Honestly, a lot of mine are food. <clears throat> um, <laughs> number three is shake and bake pork chops. Whoa. I don't know why. I never had them. I don't know why that one hit so hard. But like that was like an every good. other week thing that my dad always made. Like every once in a while, like my dad would cook maybe a couple nights a week. But that was like kind of one of his staples, and it was always in a Ziploc bag and like shaking them up and doing them in the, doing them in the oven and stuff. Um, pork I don't chops know why. are underrated. I don't know why, mm. but that one for me just like. Like I just always think of like you know family. We we, we come from such a different background, but have very similar things. Because I the first thing I was ever taught to cook was yeah. pork chops, but it was cooked with dales. Oh brother, you ain't got to tell me about dales. What is dales? that's like a season? It's, it's like a, a marinade. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh yes. Okay, I know what that. It's yeah. like has a. It's almost like soy sauce looking. It's just yes. salt. Okay. Is what it, 
But yeah. like okay. we used to do steaks yeah. and dales. That was the you'd marinate the steaks for like an hour or two in dales before. Is pork chops the first meat you learn how to cook as children? No, I don't think so. I, well, me, are you ours. asking me? I'm saying like, it just seems like we have relatable oh, maybe. stories. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, number two. This is an odd one, but um, re- like Briar's vanilla ice cream. <laughs> There's something specific about Briars where it like <laughs> it almost kind of fucks your tongue up. Like it's like kind of like the vanilla in it. Pussy. Okay, it's really <laughs> shit. No, it's like shitty. It's like shitty Does vanilla it? ice cream. It's like shitty vanilla okay. ice cream because like the vanilla was weird almost in it, and it's and it was like it wasn't smooth ice cream. It was like kind of had a little extra like grit to it. Did you say van- Did Gritty? you say vanilla bean or just vanilla ice cream? Cause yeah, cause or French vanilla. Different. Vanilla. Okay. Yeah, Ooh. Vanilla, okay. this is back What's in the, the best day. vanilla? This is, I think vanilla bean goes hard. Bet. <laughs> but, Bet that shit up. It's peppery, brother. Yeah, but. <laughs> it's got a nice <laughs> bite to it. Yeah, so, but th- but it was like uh, extra kind of icy. You know what I mean? It wasn't uh. like a smooth ice cream. I'm not saying the experience was good. I'm not saying the ice cream was good. But it reminds me Honestly, of I being. Think it's good. It reminds me of being in my grandparents' house and my grandma putting, she always bought Briar's ice cream and she would always warm it up in the microwave because she couldn't scoop it, right? Like, wow. it was so rock hard. Like, That's she's sacrilegious. <laughs> but she would throw it in the microwave. That for hurts like, my feelings. She would put it in there for like three seconds just to give it a little so she could scoop it out and put it in bowls. You right? know Grandma put 30 we, on there a few times. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. She put, three, she put three minutes on the thing instead of like three seconds. <laughs> And ruined a night forgot about it and we came back in <laughs> boiling and opened the fucking <laughs> boiling milk open the microwave and, and and fucking ice cream just is pouring out oh, that's no. gross yeah dude oh, no. and so like and she completely forgot about it you know oh, grandma. but yeah it was like but that and i, I mean we what? laughed our asses like it was so funny what at do the time. you what do you call your grandma honey that's cute yeah her Aww. name is honey and my grandpa's name is docky Oh, yeah. that's cute. Yeah. But yeah, so that's like one of those moments that I all like, dude. And my grandma is so, she's so wild, dude. It's insane. But that's one of those like funny moments that I will always remember when I see Briar's ice cream. That's the mm. only thing I think about. So yeah, that's wild. Mm. Um, my three is going to be my discovery of cinnamon toast. Mm. I was in pre-K. And they served that before they laid laid us down to nap. That and I'm gonna like just kind of sidebar this. So you mean cinnamon toast is the is the thing? Yes. Because it makes you think of that. Yeah. Okay. When I, you it, say it's cinnamon it's toast, are you talking about with like the butter, cinnamon, and sugar, yes. or like okay, mm, oh good fuck move. yeah, that's good so move. good. Yeah, it was the first time I had ever seen that combination set up, and I was like, yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> that, and it damn. wasn't just cinnamon on Why butter; you, it was cinnamon sugar yeah, on butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why on did toast. you ever stop yeah. eating that? Yes. I'm going to make some it's of that soon. aggressive. You can't. God. <laughs> As an adult, you entire, legally can't. entire loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> 12 I've done it. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's a problem, but I remember because the preschool oh, place I went to a good one. was a yellow mm-hmm. building. And it was off Michigan Avenue. And I think they, I think it's still there. But... I remember that was the first place I ever remember seeing cinnamon toast and the first place I ever remember having peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It's awesome. And w- why can't I go back? <laughs> Please. Dude, I mean. I'll have a kid just to go back there and just be like, y'all still doing <laughs> oh the sandwiches? <laughs> I don't think they're allowed to serve that anymore. But that's a damn good one. Man. Dude, it was insane. And I, it just <laughs> takes me right back. Every time I have it, I'm like, man, good days. Uh my number two, the smell of fresh honeysuckle. Oh, that's such a good one. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my yeah. God. My uh, mom's dad or my dad's mom, my bad. Your grandmother? My grandmother. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I had two, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Letting you know which one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my dad's mom, grandma. Uh, <laughs> she had a lot of them in her yard like they were mm-hmm. just kind of growing wild yeah they're and, kind of all over the place like in the yeah. south yeah yeah and like just being in her yard when like they were blooming you pull that something yes hey, something about God. the smell 
makes your boy hard. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know <laughs> what it is. <laughs> it's grandma's house, dude. Get me a little breaked up. Grandma's house. <laughs> okay. I might have been four years old and found out what that thing does. <laughs> okay. Homie, homie sniffed on a honeysuckle. He's like, damn, that shit crazy. I was like, what's going on out here, dude? I'm in the middle wow. of the yard. Dude. <laughs> I'm thinking, we're, we're, just, thinking, we're thinking something so wholesome and homie's over here like, I'm breaked yeah. up. <laughs> For real, I was just thinking about like so playing good. outside like, like during the summer, <laughs> like <laughs> summer <laughs> memory. I was thinking about being on the golf course and smelling them or whatever. And you're like, dude, I'm <laughs> making my dick hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will tell you there's like two, maybe three smells all time that do that to me. Dude, that's a wild. <laughs> Honeysuckle's one of them where I'm like... <laughs> I'm sorry, is that on his Let me excuse I, myself. I, <laughs> let me grab a fist full of this. I'll be right back. I don't know what it does, but it just <laughs> hits me on a deep level. He runs to the bathroom with a fist full of honeysuckle. Yeah. Holy shit. It's crazy. Damn, Try to take a whiff and hold yourself together. <laughs> yeah, brother, I think you're the only one who has a problem. <laughs> I think we're fine. Hold yourself together. I'm just saying, bro. My it's God. a good time. Wow. All right. That was honeysuckle sick. by yourself on a Friday night? All right. <laughs> Okay, Jesus dude. Christ. Text me mean? after you try it for the first time. Try <laughs> honeysuckle? Yeah. What you the... doing with it? I'm just saying. <laughs> rub a little here and a little oh there. My God. <laughs> <laughs> just have a good night with yourself. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. You said there were a couple smells that do this to you? Yeah, there's more than one. <laughs> what are the other ones? I don't know what the other one's <laughs> called. But there's a, it's like a beeswax lip balm thing that Lush sells. Mm. Okay. <laughs> really? Wow. Okay. And it's, wait, what does this have to do with honey? It's, it's, it's another honey. one of those. There's like two or three of those types of things that are a smell, but it's deeper. Oh, gotcha. Okay. That, that thing. <laughs> and it might have honeysuckle in it. I don't know. <laughs> it's just honeysuckle beeswax. <laughs> it just fucked me up in so many different ways. <laughs> honeysuckle just got a grip on the We boy. didn't know honeysuckle yeah. was an aphrodisiac. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Homie can't deep. believe. I'm going to suck on the honeysuckles like oysters. <laughs> I would, I'd, I'd Do y'all be... like oysters? Oh, yeah. Oysters. Yeah. That's so good. So good. Yeah. So oh, good. God. Nutrient dense. Yeah. So good. So. There, yeah. Do y'all like, what's your favorite way to eat them? Whatever Drago's does. <laughs> They're crazy. Yeah. I, I mean, I honestly like like a good oyster. I like them raw. Like I just yeah, like them on a same. cracker with a little bit of like That's, lemon and, but smoked. and tiger sauce. Smoked where like, they pop themselves. Well, I always do them. Mm. I like shuck them all or whatever, but I do them on the grill, like open flame with okay. butter, garlic, Parmesan, breadcrumbs, uh, and lemon. And, uh sounds so that's good that's like and then serve with like grilled bread too mm. that sounds so yeah, good it's ridiculous yeah. um but yeah that's another one another way that's kind of my, one of my favorites that's really good yeah your number one of- or your other one so um my number one is sweet tea mm. um because and it, okay. the reason i guess it goes like deeper for me is because growing up um before i discovered water um my mom <laughs> just showered in always, tea a lot yeah <laughs> yep yeah. exactly um no but my mom just she would always have like homemade sweet tea made in the fridge mm. like i would literally drink it every single day and i think it just i mean i love like the taste of it um but i think it just also for me like just reminds me of like the my mom and like the consistency of her and just mm-hmm. yeah, yeah it just uh, has a huge huge association with like just growing up and my mom so yeah hell that's yeah cool. dude that's a good yeah. one um my number one i don't even need to look at my phone for this one but my number one is the smell mm. of chlorine mm. the mm. smell of chlorine <laughs> <laughs> and the and the taste of watermelon Oh, I Those thought you were going to say the taste of chlorine. No, Wait, no, no, no. together? Yeah, like like you're oh, eating on a like at, you're eating a watermelon. No, like if you're eating watermelon and you got chlorine on your hands and oh, you like wow. get a little sniff of it as you're or you, you're <laughs> just like, like the, you smell the wild. salt shot lime thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Take your chlorine <laughs> hand and yeah. then you bite your watermelon. But Hell no, yeah. like just eating if you're eating watermelon and then you get a sniff of chlorine while you've got, you know, like while yeah. you're eating it, that to me is like 
ultimate summertime at my grandparents' house by the pool. Like, went to Bailey's, bought a, you know, a fresh watermelon, cut it yeah. on the back porch. Everybody's swimming, hanging out. Like, to me, that's, like, the best time of my life. I think this might and be that's the... Like, that completely, yeah, that's, like, definitely just number one. Yeah. Show. I think this is the only one that anybody said that, like, is so unique. Yeah. I've never it had that experience. Weird. It is a little odd, but I mean, honestly, even like chlorine, even just smelling strong chlorine yeah. to me will do it where I'm like, mm. Mm, you know, for me, it's but. cigarettes because my dad cigarettes and watermelon good, is that a good <laughs> cigarettes and watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Uh, Hit it with it. My number one is a memory and it comes from a song. Um. I remember being very little. I have a picture of this exact vehicle on the fridge. My dad used to drive us around, and anytime we would go get my sisters from Milton or Pace, uh, he used to crank, uh, I think the album is called No More Tears by Ozzy Osbourne, which is why I'm wearing this shirt today. Uh, But he would play the opening track, which is Mr. Tinker Train. Mm -hmm. And the opening track is just a bunch of kids like it it in itself is like a loop of nostalgia because i was the age of the kids isn't it kind of a creepy intro or am i thinking of a different one uh i mean some could take it that way i take it nostalgically um but i was the age of the kids that are making the noise so anytime i hear it I feel like I go back to that time to and that. I was that age at that time. But like, this is the, mm. they're just yeah. playing on, uh, and it's like, dun, 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 dun. But like, anytime I hear that, it reminds me of, I was so small. I was standing up on the bench in the truck. It's a S 10, a black S 10 with a little camper shell on the back. But, I was young enough that I could stand on it while we were driving. Oh. Yeah. And it's like red seat, blacked out truck. But I remember doing Damn. that and like having my hand on his shoulder and just listening to that song all the time. Mm. And then just plays. You remember through. being that little? Just that. Yeah. That's yeah. it. And That's cool. because I have a picture of it, or at least that era of time, yeah. it helps me see it as well. But like that intro gets me every time. I'm like, damn, that was such a cool ass memory. Yeah. Yeah, That's my number one thing. It's Peter Golden. Yeah. That laid me in the yard with some, you know. Oh, my God. Damn. And then, and then you got to think. That's a Friday. We went and got the girls Friday. They left me in the yard Saturday. by myself. Yeah, found Saturday <laughs> morning cartoons. cartoons. Yeah. And then, and then that cinnamon terrible, toast, brother. And then that I have a whole perfume. weekend set up. I'm going to have a great ass weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. Yeah. Can y'all that. put y'all's together? Um, My whole list can go together. Creed goes that. with anything, literally yeah, anything. Yeah, anything. Um, You're shaking big. Yeah, my one and might not sweet. fit with watermelon. My one and two do, but like my third one doesn't. Shake and bake pork chops really don't. We we'll go with yours all again, really quick. Shake and bake pork chops. Shake and bake pork chops, vanilla ice cream, chlorine, and watermelon. Oh, you have a whole meal. That's a fun ass time. Yeah, but I but not in the way that I am. But within a day, you could do oh, yeah, all yeah. of that and oh, have yeah. a great day. Yeah, and powdered donuts, throw that shit in the oh, beginning. Oh, dude, you're a fat kid. <laughs> I <laughs> do a lot of minor food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, dude, why do you think I worked in a restaurant for so long? And yours was Creed? <laughs> Harry Potter and Sweet Tea. Dude, that's Car- another great-ass day. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to the store sure. to get Sweet Tea, playing like Creed. Fucking Creed up. On the way back home, playing Creed again. Yeah. When you and get home, you get home <laughs> tea, <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> But play weekend. Creed while you're getting while you're setting up your move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That was a good. Um, one. That was a good top three. That was a good podcast. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Are you excited for the competition this weekend? I am. Yeah. I mean, when this I'm, comes out, you will have already won. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> ugh. You know what? Ugh. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a good time. Yeah. So you're gonna have we'll a blast. see. Yeah. It'll yeah. be fun. It'll be. F- It'll be fun to just like hang out with the um, Pensacola team this week too. Oh, hang yeah. out and train with you guys, and um, yeah, it'll be it'll be a good time. Like I'm just kind of looking to just challenge myself and have fun. So we'll see what happens. 
Um, it'll be tight for you. You said your dad's coming too. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be yeah. Cool. Yeah. It'll be really cool because we're really close. So come watch you do kung fu. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. Yep. And a I'm little plot to... twist: your boy's a judge. So. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're judging or mm-hmm. reffing? I'm judging. Oh, okay. They already. By the time I had reached out, they already had a ref. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell it's yeah. like fifty matches or something. It's a yeah. crazy amount of matches. Yeah. It's a lot. But cool. I'm I think I might be the last one of like the team that's um Yeah, you are going. you are pretty late in the card. Yeah, I am. I'm super late. Big name. Carried some weight. <laughs> yeah. Um Where's well the... before we get out of here, if you wanna grab one of these silver bottom pens and sign the wall of fame over there, you can oh, before we do that, do you have anything you wanna shout out like Instagram or anything? Um uh any upcoming plans other than the competition creed not re- yeah creed in oh, september yeah. <laughs> i'm also seeing avril lavigne in september oh <laughs> so fucking excited Nostalgia um fun. but yeah i i definitely gravitate towards things that like i uh that are nostalgic for me that like i was into in the early parts of my life for sure um but uh yeah my instagram's audrey kate hicks if you want to follow me but i don't i don't really care i'm not like trying to get social media famous or anything yeah. like that but um but yeah this is super fun thank oh, y'all yeah, for having yeah, me yeah. Thank, thank you, you for coming, coming on for, for sure real. um well while you're signing the wall we're gonna shout out some sponsors yeah johnny mumbles just Boy. started my back piece ouch yeah, yeah. it hurt <laughs> It, well, it's a tattoo, man. Yeah, well... The ones you say you're never getting again. Brother, I didn't know it was going to hurt so bad, and his hand was smooth. Yeah. But yeah. my back... I even numbed you up. Yeah, I know. Brother <laughs> sauced me down I right really, beforehand. Brother, I glazed your ass. Yeah, yeah. I really did. I've never yeah. had a man put a layer like that on me before. <laughs> Look, dude, when I do it... It was creamy, too. When I do it, I lay it, you know. Yeah, and then... Which is weird because you wrapped me after the fact. Normally you wrap before you get creamy like that. Yeah, but no. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know me, though. Uh, but yeah, he's putting a sick back piece on me. Did you schedule yours? No, I was supposed to go in there fucking Friday. Friday, I was supposed to drop by so mm-hmm. he could look at everything. And then I ended up having to go over to Biloxi to go Word. sign up for that tournament. And then all hell broke loose. So I kind of got sidetracked on that. But I got to get into the studio so he can take a look at my arm get the rest oh, of this yeah. filled out but um but yeah and they're coming on soon so yeah for sure they're yeah. gonna be big episode yeah yeah, yeah yeah um hell yeah and you know what else is smooth what assassinato tequila Damn, and was... maybe you can speak a little better on tequila in general yeah that was a wicked segue by the way i love that idea. yeah Thank um you. Yeah, Cessonado, dude. It's, I mean, real deal shit. Um, Born and raised Pensacola. Yeah, all Pensacola dudes, which is really cool. I'm I'm sure you've probably seen them post with Teddy Swims and MGK and all these people. Like, they... Teddy Swims, MGK, Jelly Roll. Yeah, Jelly... uh, I think they did one with Post Malone. Post Malone. Basically, everybody has had this tequila. Um, But they've been working on it for a long time. Michael Jackson. I've never been a big tequila guy. P. Diddy. I'll be honest with you. Never really. Um... But I can tell you the stuff that I have had from them has been the best tequila yeah. that I've ever had. Um, so if you are a tequila person, I know they have. I think they have three different ones that you can yep. order or purchase. So definitely take a look at them. Um, we're gonna get some in the studio here soon, just to kind of show it off a little bit, so you can yeah. see what it looks like. Um, but I know that they're carrying it at Taco Agave now. They're so. literally just announced like over the. I don't know, past five days, they've announced like 30 locations. Yeah, and Bogies too, another one of the spots. Yeah, that Bogies. We, yeah, a Bogies bunch of and Taco. Places. So if you're downtown and, you know, want to try some badass tequila, definitely go in there. Um, try a Cessonado. Um, and yeah, tag them, post them, let them know how good it is. All that kind of Cessonado tequila.com. You can check out all their stuff. They also have merch. Mm-hmm. And their merch is fucking yeah. pretty their sick. Lo- their logo is They have fire. fuck whiskey shirts yeah. and hats. Their logo is tight, dude. Yeah, they do a lot of stuff. They have a lot of really cool things going on. They are literally all over the world trying to get this stuff They're spread. doing uh, – they do like a gr- uh, golf group too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like – What is the name of that? It's like uh, – It's like dead – It's something. I We follow them. I feel bad now, but but it's like they don't post a lot on that page. Yeah, it's only been a couple things, but um, but I think they're trying to kind it's of on build Corey's that up. Page. 
Yeah, let me take Corey a gander. Hamovi. But Corey Hamovi and Danny Warsnob kind of they're the it's their like little brainchild. Um everybody has alcohol nowadays, but nobody does it like Assassinato. So be sure to check them out. Um I mean, you can literally follow Corey. What is Corey's Instagram? Wiley850. Oh, he also releases his own music, by the way. They write music, but he does, like, country music. Not that this is ad for him, but uh, <laughs> Brother's got his hands in a bunch of different He pots. does all of it, dude. Um, fuck, I can't find it. I don't know. It's in his bio. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's like one of his tag things at the top. Mm-mm. It's not. All right, well, anyways, uh, check out assassinatotequila.com. Check out Sacred Grounds Tattoo Studio on Instagram. And Johnny Mumbles. Yeah, they're both really big partners in our uh journey so check them out support them and we appreciate them so y'all yeah. go support them all. both smooth boys yeah great guys all the boys involved are smooth hell yeah well thank you so much again for coming and hanging out yeah we really thank do you. appreciate it thank y'all for having me yeah it's been a good time yeah you should have brought the medal from saturday but that's fine <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah well good shit well, we look <laughs> forward to seeing you compete too thank yeah. you so, we all well yeah you'll be there you'll yeah. be there too yeah cool so, hell yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. We're getting the fuck up out of here. We love you. Yee! Yee!